Here we go. Sometime when you compromise who you are to appease others, you should all the feel yourself. Begin the dance side. It's been an amazing journey. We got that nigga in here. Myself. All the way up. Gates! All the way up. And I'm out the way up. We got that nigga here. Yeah. This is my job. Yeah. Cartel Swing! Don't be lying to me. You don't think a change, you ain't had a change. You making a plan to lose. Don't need a security blanket, a safety harness, a band to school. Took an advance and paid it back and made an advance and move. I know how to stand and greet a man whenever he walk in the room. Unlimited bands, come on command, ain't changing my attitude. Latine, you know that I love you forever, could never be mad at you. You ain't wanna win, as bad as I want you to win, I had the scoop. Uh, Tan and thin inside the bag, I bought you the blaze and shoot. King B, I bought your chain, they making it rain on you. I know that you gotta go home and they talked about you, I prayed for you. I had my heart score about a woman that I used to call my mom. You know if I fuck with you, I'm going to war with God behind I been it to you, on whom I was talking about, don't fly again My wing got bruised, healing my wounds, I done got fly again Now all you hoes are thinking of the past, I can supply a team Metro ton lows, coming in from the island That bitch you wish she flaw as hell, focus on air shots The bitch I'm with, with the cartel, focus on stash fights A lot of diamonds, I'm about diving, bro when the chain listen Chicago jail went straight to the cell with all of the gang members Now my ain't T all green Street, she one of them gang members. Yeah, Mama Duck, I love you to death. You one of them gang members. Yeah, you know when you're a real nigga, you ain't gonna never really get the respect you deserve out here. But for y'all, I rock a lot of pretty feathers. They tatted real bad with a cartel sway. Pants hanging on my ass, and I know you see me watching. I don't worry about your man, tell your dude, bag back, shout it bad, ass back. Hold up, can I take you shopping? I tatted real bad with a cartel sway. Pants hanging on my ass, and I know you see me watching. Yeah, 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 I know you see me watching. Yeah, yo, yo, yeah, uh huh, yeah, we got that nigga yeah. in the building. Yeah, you know what time huh? it is. Listen, we man, we got that nigga in the building, Listen, man. huh? Listen, it's going down, man. What time is it? Listen, it's time. You're now tuned into me, 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 Wait. Listen, man, we got Gates in the building, man. Gates said, Gates called us and said, when y'all gonna stop playing and get me up there, man? What y'all doing, man? This was like, mm. this was when y'all first started this. What y'all mm-hmm. doing? Mm-hmm. You know, we couldn't be on the same time, same coast <clears throat> shit ain't. Mm-hmm. Now he here, he said, I'm coming to Philly. Mm. Yeah. I'm coming to the trench. I'm coming mm. to Philly. To the trenches, nigga. You know what I mean? Mm. My motherfucking guy is in, in the here, building, man. man. Yeah, this episode of Me and I Was Worth a Game is brought to you by New Hampshire Damn Vodka. Uh, you see that? Look at that, huh? Let me tell you about New Amsterdam vodka. Distilled five times. Five times. Filtered three times. Three times. Uno, dos, tres. For that clean, crisp finish. You know, so if you're having a fucked up day, New shout out New Amsterdam vodka. You know, life ain't going your fucking way. Shout out New Amsterdam vodka. You caught your bitch out sucking a dick today. <laughs> Some New Amsterdam vodka makes everything feel just a little bit better. You hear me? And it's the presenting sponsor of Million Dollars Worth of Game and the official vodka of Barstool Sports. So make sure when you're out in your local and liquor also store. also Tootie. You know, yeah, well, you know, she, she loves being at the crib making the, you know cocktails and all that. But when you're out in your local liquor store, make sure you pick you up some New Amsterdam vodka ASAP. Right. right. Hold on. I got to start this shit off. Right, I started before on. we go any fucking Gilla, further. Gilla been knowing me for like close to probably going on about fifteen years. Nah. <laughs> yeah. Real talk, right about fifteen years. Fuck he used to right. come in the section and everything. You absolutely, know? absolutely, man. But we got to start this motherfucker off right. Started off right, cuz. Rest in peace to kill a stone. Alvin Nelson, yes sir. You hear me? Yes sir. My motherfucking guy. Yes, you hear sir. me? Spent. We was on Cash Money together, real gangster. I'm not trying to be uh, sentimental or emotional, but that's one of the last people that that just really wanted to see me win. Like, like in everything I do in a lot of my ways, I emulate him. That was the flyest nigga in the world of me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, had, we he was a beautiful person. Mm-hmm. 
you know, even with the veneers and all that, I yeah. said, after I take the diamonds out of my mouth, I'm going to do the veneers like Wody. Right. Like when a lot of people say Wody, like that's Wody. That's, right. That's who Wody was. Stone was Wody. Mm-hmm. But you know, it's neither here nor there. But yeah, it's, rest it's, in peace, that, the killer, that's, man. That's, that's the emotional. That's the emotional subject matter for me. And 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 killer was uh like a like your uncle, big cousin, like that was my big brother, big brother. It was like really all I had at one time because I'm talking about when everybody in the world shut the door on me. It's like I guess he just saw something in me that he believed in, and he just <laughs> you know right. He just took me in and kind of embraced me. Right. You know. From from day one when I got down to uh, Cash Money, man, me and Killer just connected. You know what I mean? To where I used to have my motherfucking P, my MF on. I'm down at the fucking projects right across the street at the bar. Motherfuckers looking. It's like, no, he would kill her. Oh, oh, all right. He was, he was different. You feel like, what I'm that's, saying? That's why I started getting manicures and pedicure from watching him do this. Right. He was different. I got out of jail. Are hey, you fucked up? I said, yeah, big brother, I'm fucked up. I'm going to put you back where you was at. Mm. I'm on my way to BR. I'm riding with like three quarters. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And if y'all don't know who Killer Stone is, you know, rest in peace. There's a video on YouTube. Y'all can go, you know, check him out before he, you know, before he passed. He only counting, you know. Yeah, but a lot of, a six, lot of the things that I do. Seven. Eight hundred thousand or some shit. Three point five. Oh, three point five. And told a nigga, it, uh, yeah, there's four trash bags over there. Another nigga gonna be counting for a long fucking yeah. time tomorrow. Yeah, rest <laughs> in peace to Killer. He was that one Killer. of them niggas out here. You know, and I emulate, saying? I emulate him in a lot of, a lot of the things that I do as far as just with, like, like when I went diamonds in my mouth, when I took the diamonds out of my mouth, I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I, I rocked all white teeth like Wold in them. You know, he had right. everybody around. Just that was him, and he was a like a team player. That was his motto. I built the team up so strong, they ain't know who was in charge. And it's like to this day, a lot of people don't really say his name or salute him. Oh shit! With except for the real ones, you know, yeah, dude was he was dead. Except for the real niggas, sure. That was the flash <laughs> nigga in the world to me. Absolutely, hey man, you like oh. I can't say you got your team, you got your niggas, you got your camp, but you like a one man fucking army out here. And it's like, it's like, I see, I see everybody click up and I'm not saying you don't fuck with niggas. I don't know your relationships. I just know that from the outside looking in, it looked like you just stay to yourself and just murder shit. Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. That come from prison. It come from, like, I. it's crazy I'm about to even say this. I've been in and out of prison, like juvenile detention and adult jails for quite some time. So I've always been a loner. I've always been alienated, so to say, because I live by a different set of rules, morals, codes, and principles. And I really think it really was a blessing. I solidified myself as an artist, but I also kind of hinder myself in ways because I wasn't willing to network or not that I wasn't willing to network, but it was just, I don't know. I look at it like I could have, I could have been more friendly. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but you got to look at it like it's just, you know, you got to look at it like it's business. And that's one thing that I wasn't looking at it from a business aspect. I was playing the game like penitentiary, mm -hmm. like, that's how I played the game. I came in the game with a real ghetto, not a ghetto attitude, but a kind of a street mentality type attitude. And the people that I was gravitating towards was dudes that was like in the streets. You know what I'm saying? And I just think that that I kind of hinder myself a little bit with that with that closed minded perspective. Yeah. Like speaking from a more mature person, like I I believe that like now. If I could have did it differently, I would have politicked and network. But it was a beautiful thing because I solidified myself. Right. So the bricks come and stamp. You know what you're getting when you holler at me. Right. And then again, I feel like everybody that I made to co-create. Some people you could be a fan of from a distance, but everybody that I made to co-create. Like, it's about the energy that you align yourself with. So I'm big on energy, too. You know, I'm with that. 
Yeah. Yes, sir. I don't want to. Yes, sir. <laughs> so yes, the arts. So now that okay, you older, you looking at shit from a different perspective. You understand that, you know, because I feel the same way. I feel like a young Gilly coming in the game. I could have been a little bit more friendly. Yeah, it was business. You and feel we, what I'm saying? We came in the game with a street attitude. And, like, when I seen you, I was a kid. You know what I'm uh -huh. saying? But when I seen you, I was like, you know, just the way we was moving and all of that back then, it was just, that's, that's what I gravitated toward. It was easier to walk up on the street, nigga, than to walk up on a, you know what I'm saying? Executive. Right? You know, it was easier. You know, in some of those meetings, I really used to have to tell myself, like, I deserve to be a, you know, interesting fact about Kevin Gates, I talk to myself. Uh -huh. cool. All geniuses talk to yes. themselves. Uh -huh. Oh no, he do that shit all the time. I'm talking about we would be driving in the car, he'd have a full blown conversation with himself. I'm talking about talk, answer, and then it'd be another nigga. He have he got three niggas in the car. Like it's three of him. And, and the same thing as the prison thing. He always say I'm alone. I disappear quick. I'm out. Yeah. I ain't and fucking it's, with it's not that. It's called being self sufficient. Yes. You have a relationship with yourself that yes. most people don't even know who they are. They don't. They live off what Instagram tell them to be. Fucked up off Instagram. That's like, and then me talking to myself now is a way that I process my emotions also. Mm -hmm. I like, and I'm careful about the words that I use. Like, like I'm careful about the affirmations that I put out into the universe now because everything I speak, it come true. Like every time I was saying, I don't care about going to jail and I wear two pair of underwear. I wear two pair of drawers everywhere I go, and <laughs> you know, so I can have a pair of rock and toilet. Saying, water. I got two pair on. I'm just saying, I'm, I care about going to jail, but I'm just prepared. When you when you're ready, you ain't and, got to get and, ready. And <laughs> I know there's always being prepared in that mindset. I was manifesting those things. You manifesting? Yeah. No, I, I'm not manifesting them things because I ain't been to jail. But I just know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just so. know when you when you're ready, you ain't got to get you're the ready. fuck ready. Yeah, right. You, you feel what I'm saying? So proper preparation prevents <laughs> piss poor performance. All that shit. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what my coach used to say. Yeah. So, Kev, right? Yeah, now man. that you older, you you looking back, you like, damn, I, you know, I might have hindered myself. You know, your mind is open now. You done seen real things. You done been real places. You done dealt with real people. Do we see some features coming in the future? Yeah, I had just got to know. I just got to make me a deal. I was like, let's work. <laughs> see, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. So, to all the young niggas, hold on. It ain't that. It's like, to all the young, before you go you any further. You got to put your pride to the side. I mean, and it ain't, it ain't nothing. I mean, like, because we know. Well, I don't know him personally, but yeah. we know some of the same people. So I just got in this DM. Hey, you are, hey, I got in this DM. Hey, let's work. I, get, I might get in Drake DM when I leave out this bitch. If you never answer, I'm not going to take it personal. Maybe yeah. you didn't see it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, but that's just. You like, can't be too cool. You can't be, you can't be, you can't be afraid to try it. Like, at Give least it try. Give like, it I had to say, I had to tell myself, at least try, Kevin. And not to salute nobody else. And then, like, one time, um. Um, me and Nip, now me and this so what's so crazy about me and Nip relationship is when we get around each other, we'll talk and never make music. Yeah. So I was with him like maybe two or three days before his passing. I forgot when a little party was. So I met Jay Z. Yeah. You know, how you doing? I'm Kevin. He, I'm Jay. You know, met all of them. Yeah. And like, I'm like, man, these are the settings I'm supposed to be in. Absolutely. I'm not supposed to be. Standing up, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. you, you know, a bum on the street could walk up and just hug me because that's just the heart I got. Mm -hmm. Like last night in Times Square, I'm buying, you know, me being a Muslim, like the greatest thing that we could do to raise our rank is feed people. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's my thing. I take pride Absolutely. and charity in the aid yeah. of the systems of others. So I do shit like I'm, it's three, four in the morning, I'm feeding people, but not to promote that like I'm just out there being charitable, but that's the kind of shit that I, it make me feel good. It's, Absolutely. It's healing to my soul Absolutely. to be somebody. Absolutely. It just make me feel good. And let me say this. To all the youngins out there, he just gave an example of growth. If you doing the same shit at you, 32 or 29. You know I was that, fucked up. I was fucked up. Bro. Every time that y'all used to come, man, look, something you want to do. Who? Fuck him. <laughs> he a street nigga. <laughs> fuck him. <laughs> you know, and I, and that was the fucked up attitude that I had, and then I closed a lot of doors. I'm not tripping. 
I ain't doing. I ain't doing no complaining. Mm -hmm. Even when I went laid down, you never heard a peep out of me. Right. Right. Hey, I'm gonna lay down. Hey, right. when I come back, I'm back. You know. Right. Hey, right. We but, don't roll. We don't rap. We yeah. take the beating for the. <laughs> yeah, got brothers doing a thousand years. Right. Johnny, Johnny, and them—they never roll. They never rap. Yeah. That's not what you do. <laughs> you never break the code. But youngins out there, you got to show growth, man. And you see, he went from saying, "Man, fuck niggas, man, I, I got this on my own," to saying, "You know what? I, I might have been a little bit bigger if I would have uh, dealt uh, with some niggas." Uh, so uh, now, let me let me show some growth. Uh, What's also, up, Meek? I also, What's up, Drake? I also What's up? think I also think not to cut you off. I also think it was also fear too, fear of rejection. So you got to be honest with yourself. You can say, "Man, my Talk pride, it. my pride was in the way." Talk it because I come from when you ask somebody for something, man, you, they gonna shit on you. Like I'm, like I'm doing my own thing. Yeah, you doing you, but I'm doing me. And and I come from that era. Like I don't, I, I never depend on the hand of another man. Yeah, I come from that era, and. I had to realize that it might have been, you know, it might have been pride, but it's also fear involved also, also because you might have that fear of rejection of uh, somebody absolutely. telling you no and yep. you getting your feelings. Because yep. yep. no don't mean no. No might mean not right now, kid. Yeah. Right. And that's just, you know, that's other things you have to be honest with yourself. See, I'm honest with myself. Mm -hmm. I Talking. believe in, like, self-accountability. I'm going to hold myself accountable. Yes. I'm held responsible for the places I place myself and the people that I place around me. You know, before I get in the car, hey, you smoke? You drink? You got any drugs in the car? If I got to ask you that, no sense to be getting in the car with you. Because mm -hmm. I know what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. I'm under that, you know, that old law. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, you're younger, you're doing your thing, and this guy walking to your neighborhood. How was that day? You remember that day? Well, I know I ain't, I ain't see him just in my neighborhood. I seen him at the corner store. Okay. The first time I seen him, he had the Jag, drop top Jag. He had the photo armadillo Benz. He was doing this shit. <laughs> In Louisiana. He was doing this shit. I didn't even know who he was. He was doing this shit. Okay. Okay. And how did that go? Did you say something to him? I ain't say, you know, I'm just looking. You know, he was a young he was nigga, a man. Street nigga, man. A young nigga, man. And you then know? when I tell him them stories, like from then, like, he like, because that's me. Anybody who was getting money, I'm trying to go around and see. Like, them the athletes to me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I want to see. That's all I think I ever wanted was a car, some money, a girlfriend, and a gun. Your girlfriend and a gun. Now, now I see through the whole process. <laughs> that's the legend. That's the hood kid that's right a, there. That's the hood kid. That's the, that's the hood kid. Of Ryan yeah, I, I, the I hood. know it sounds crazy. I just get excited just thinking about it. That's all you. That's all you want. I had to look in the mirror one day and say, "You know what, man? I'm that nigga, man, with all the tattoos. I'm that nigga. Yeah. I'm tatted real bad with a cartel sweat. I'm that nigga now. Nah. Right? Yeah, man. Hey, you pull up and meet a metal man at the Texaco. I get blindfolded, helicopter, go to Mexico. Ooh, yeah. Hold on, oh, song. Oh, don't going. stop, nigga. Please keep going. don't keep stop. going. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm like, man, hold on, I'm that nigga now. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, 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 this episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by FTX. Listen, it's the world's most popular most mobile popular. app for cryptocurrency tracking and trading. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the world's most popular. I'm talking about, and all you had to do is download it right now for free. And also, you could build your portfolio and follow prices of more than 10,000 coins. Get your phone number notification updates directly from projects you care about. Mm -hmm. You could buy and sell Bitcoin. Ethereum, Dogecoin, and other top tokens with absolutely zero fees and get a free coin with every trade over $10. I'm talking about all you got to do is visit it. You got to, all you got to do is visit the app store, download today for free. What? Use code MDWOG and get $20 invested into your account for free. For free. Like I'm talking about for free. Everybody you're gonna loves get, stuff You're going to get $20 invested into your account for free on FTX, the world's most popular mobile app for cryptocurrency tracking and trading. What is you waiting for? You're in the cryptocurrency, right? Mm -hmm. What did you wait for? What Download the Moodle app right now on the App Store. Stop playing. Get $20. Invest it right into your account for free right now when you use code MDWOG. What are you waiting for? FTX. I'm going to ask you something. Like, I see how you went to jail and all that shit. Best thing ever happened to me. B, you know, uh, BWA. And I seen how Drika just hold that shit down. Yes, sir. She just hold, like, 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 it seemed like she just hold this shit. She forming. Y'all doing things in Michigan with the, the cannabis y'all doing. 
what is it about? Like, what is it about? What is your, how can I say, what is it that keep marriage together and love together? I believe communication is what keeps a marriage together. Communication, love, trust, honor, respect. Like, you respecting your partner. And when you take the, when you start, and titles, I don't like titles. When you do that husband and wife shit, you got to live up to the title. See, when you look at somebody like, hey, this is my nigga, this is my friend, it's going to be a different type of, not say my nigga, but this is my, this my, it's my friend. Right. This is a friendship. This is a bond. Then that's the loyalty and things of that nature. But I also say this. You got to be loyal to yourself first also. You can't obligate yourself to a false cause. Because mm-hmm. a lot of people, a lot of men, we as men as being providers, a lot, oftentimes we do that. So, my philosophy is this. I'm not here to give marriage advice. I tell people either you grow together or you grow apart. That's it. Once you stop growing together, it's over with. I don't think it can ever be rekindled because y'all on two different journeys. Mm-hmm. Now, it may come back around at the end, but like I say, I'm not here to tell people, stay stay together and mm-hmm. stick it out. I'm not I'm not an advocate of that. Mm-hmm. Right. I done seen a lot of people suffer in silence, especially yes. men. Especially men. I done seen a lot of men suffer in silence. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Niggas it's out here but, that's getting sex twice a week, man. Because it's, 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 <laughs> I, I'm under that old law, like, you know, you don't speak on what go on in the house. You know, you never go against the mob. You know, I'm under that law. But I also realize there's nothing wrong with picking you. You have to choose you. got to pick you, yeah. You have to choose you. So that's why I don't like giving marriage advice because I could be, I could be telling you to stay in a situation that's not it's not, it's not, it's not healthy for you mentally, meta, metaphysically. For those that don't know what metaphysical means, it means like spiritually, mentally, and physically. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. So I may be asking you to stay in a relationship where you're suffering. So I don't say that. I just say either two people grow together or grow apart. Because I notice a lot of people try to live vicariously through relationships, and that's just imagery that's being portrayed. Because a lot of couples, mm. a lot of couples, you see them. And I'm big on energy. I mean, y'all don't even like each other for real. Mm, yeah. Talk heavy. Y'all yeah. don't like each other for real. Talk it's heavy. It's not really your friend. <clears throat> talk Every heavy. picture is placed. You're faking. Mm. Yes. The world can see you faking. Yes, mm. sir. You don't know you faking? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. So that's, I'm big on that. Because I think I didn't, I didn't, I think the old Kevin, I didn't talk people into staying in relationships that yeah. weren't healthy for them. Mm-hmm. So now my approach is this. Hey, either you grow together or you grow apart. You got to pick yourself first. There's nothing wrong with choosing you. Mm-hmm. You have to fight for you first. And if you never truly love yourself, you can never truly love anybody else. So that's why my phone's at nighttime, airplane mode. And I listen to the Quran. That's I, that's the Quran or however you, know, you want to pronounce mm-hmm. it. If you, if you speak Arabic, if you, yeah. you know, if you speak English. But I listen to the prayers at nighttime. And you know, my other phone's airplane mode. Cause this is my time for my body to recover. You know, mm-hmm. it, I have to pick me. I have to. Mm. Like even my children, I love my children. I'm aiding, assisting them in their development, but at the same time, I still have to choose me. Mm-hmm. Because if I'm not healthy, if I'm not a fit father, mentally, physically, and children, they do what they, they emulate what they see and they repeat what they hear. So they watching their daddy replace Negative habits with healthy habits. And that's all it is. It's just replacing. Just keeping that self-inventory for me right now. Mm-hmm. All right, now, how do it feel to go from, man, moving that gold, getting that getting that white money, you know, that Arizona, whatever, to I'm seeing Drika in Michigan, y'all got your own cannabis going on, from taking it from the streets to the real deal. How do, I, 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 well, I speak on it as much as I can. Yeah. Because... The one thing about me is when you speak on your move, you can hinder the manifestation yes, and the growth of okay. it. But I could say this. I never saw it happening, but I always knew it was going to happen. Go to the next level. Huh? I always knew it was going to happen. Mm. That's major. I always knew. That's even with my other form. Like I always knew it was going to happen. I always saw this. I didn't know how I was going to get there because you never see the in-between process. But I always just knew the end goal, what the end goal was. And just you having that in your mind and in your heart and that affirmation, you attract 
the right pieces to the puzzle to get you to that goal that you manifested. And I hold it in my heart and I don't speak on no move. Okay. Uh -huh. Like before the move made, but I'll say this, it's a blessing. Uh -huh. Right now. It's more than a blessing. Absolutely. It's a blessing. Okay. What was the importance of just not that, but I'm talking about that one, just the original form, the first form. Why was that so important to you going to get that form? Cause my grandfather used to take us on farm on his farm when we was younger, teach us how to fish, teach us how to hunt. And most of the principles and things that I live by now, as far as with how I look at life, I look at life from the perspective of a farmer, of a gardener. You could plant the seed, you still gotta nurture and care for that seed, even though you don't see anything. And then when you start to see something, you still gotta nurture and care for it because it's in a developmental process. And they see who stick around with the seed and the tree there. But see, once a year of fruit, man, everybody want to come because it's abundance. Mm -hmm. They say the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. You know when the second best time is? Today. Today. So you give, and I don't know why people be like, man, it ain't nothing. It's abundance. The world is abundance. Mm -hmm. But if you're not living, a, in, living in an abundant mindset, then you will never see the, the, the growth, the potential, the earning potential all around you. It's abundance. Yeah. That's deep. Uh -huh. It depends on what you isolate your mind with. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. You sit and look at Instagram. All, all day, day you're going to be fucked up. And I took a break from social media because it was it was causing me, um, it was really like causing depression. Why depression? Because comparison is the killer of all joy. When you look at it, I was looking at, for me, I can't say nobody else. Y'all might be way stronger than me, you uh -huh. know what I'm saying? But yeah. me, I'm a normal person. Uh -huh. I never see myself in my greatness. But all people do is post their highlight reels. And I'm comparing my real life to somebody's highlight reel. Of course, it's comparison is the killer of all joy. Uh -huh. It looks good. You might cry in a car, wonder how you go pay the... <laughs> <laughs> You know, I've achieved some things by the yeah. grace of Almighty God, but this comparison is the killer of all joy. So that's when I learned to start comparing myself. Even in the fitness world, I didn't know that these dudes dehydrate themselves and all that and get the best angle. And because I, I was killing myself, I just wanted to. Ass you like, why my shit ain't like that? And I had to realize my 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 water intake is way greater. Uh -huh. I'd rather be hydrated and strong than dehydrated, look good, and you weak and you tired. Uh -huh. Yeah. But most people not knowing that that right. shit look good. Right. Yeah. But is it healthy? It's not. Yeah, that's real. What's the most you ever bench press? I get under some heavy shit. <laughs> and I'm gonna be honest. The 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 working out I do, I do a lot of yoga. Oh, okay. I do a lot of yoga. When I go in when I go in the gym, I start, I warm up my core first. Mm -hmm. Then I do my stretching. Then I do my jump rope. And then I, I like that ab wheel. Yeah. That's my girlfriend. They hate my they hate my girlfriend. Yeah. But she the one who got me together. Right. That's right. <laughs> I do pull-ups, dips. And what made you just snap out and start getting it together? Cause I seen at one time it wasn't I used to be a uh I used to be an athlete. Okay. Like I used to uh I took a lot of martial arts and I used to box. Oh shit. Here we go. He said martial arts first. He said boxing second. He said no. martial arts first. But I look at it like this. All of it go together. Okay. I'll let it go together. Martial laws and boxing, all of those things go together. And I mean, I said this on a Mike Tyson interview before. I was molested when I was younger. Okay. So I had this real, real fear like of being vulnerable and somebody taking advantage of me. So I, I wanted to learn how all the martial arts you could learn, just and things of that nature. And I boxed and all that. That was my 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 drive, my motivational drive. But through martial arts, a lot of healing came with that because I learned how to surrender. That was the hardest thing for me to do. Just learn how to surrender. Mm -hmm. The way you know. so you never talked about surrendering. No, because you you don't this is martial arts talk. You're not in that world. Get the, the fuck out of here. You don't know nothing about that shit. Get the fuck out of here. You never I don't said, even like to say that <laughs> you know, you know, like like with Soldier Slim was like, no, I don't know karate. You know, and all that <laughs> yeah, shit. Yeah, you know, yeah, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, leave that shit alone. <laughs> what you I'm know, saying is, so you I'll, never said nothing about surrendering. Because I don't have to speak to you about the arts, because you don't respect the arts. You just worry about <laughs> boxing, so that's another story. <laughs> now, <laughs> but hey, it's, boxing is a martial arts. The okay. steps are the same. Right. 
Don't Except for my footwork more. better. <laughs> tell this motherfucker that. Yeah, I mean, my footwork better than you. Because he's just going to get into, he's going to go somewhere else now. First of all. Hey, but you know what was what was crazy with what? you? What I, also, what I liked about you? What's that? You a lefty. Yeah, absolutely. I'm a, they don't never see that hand from Disneyland. They never see it. They never see it. You hear me? They, they, and I knocks them bitches goofy. You hear I, me? I can see it they all the time. They never see the left neck shit. They, they, you didn't see it when Lou sucker punched the shit out you and you Lou rolled up under the car. Lou yes, he was. He was right. Yes, he was. He you was didn't right. know what Lou was. He sucked the shit I out of you. I actually did. I Listen, didn't know who he, Lou was. He didn't know who Lou was. <laughs> he did some slimy shit. Lou socked him. We young boys socked the shit out of him. He fell. And rolled under the car. And rolled under the car like he rolled their pet that was, that was Listen, you know what? That was, a, that was the art of surrender. I surrendered under the car. Nigga, you stupid. You don't know nothing about the arts. You got to know I surrendered right under the fucking car. God damn, you don't understand. That's why I can't talk to you about this shit. Oh. I can't talk to you. He socked me. Uh, you know, I had to recover. I had to get myself back together. I had to reevaluate what was going on. And I went under the car. I surrendered under the hood. Oh, fuck is the matter with you? I had some oil on me, but it's fuck, that's life. I, I, listen, I ain't too cool. I got my ass whipped plenty of times. That's what made me great. Hey, that's what I tell everybody. I lost a, yeah, I lost I lo- a bunch of I lost way more than I won, yeah. but I won the ones that counted. That's all that matters. <laughs> That's a hell of a joint. I lost way more than I won, but I won the ones man, that count. Man, win, lose, or maybe. I'm yeah. not trying to win. I'm trying to get my point across. Yeah. Right. Win, lose, or maybe, <laughs> man. It I thought that was matter. the code. But absolutely. Yeah. This episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game Million is brought to you by Lightboxer. Lightboxer. Well, let me tell you about Lightboxer. It's very fun. It's easy. Uh, if you look on my Instagram page, you seen me and Wallo battling. You beat it. me. I think you beat me only because your song was shorter than mine. No, my song was fast. And my arms you know started burning yeah, out. Yeah, I felt yeah, it. it was like instant. was burning out. But like boxer, it makes uh, it makes uh, working out fun and competitive. You know what I'm saying? You get to work out to music, listening to uh, you know whoever you like to listen to, whoever Justin Bieber, Post Malone, The Weeknd. You know, I think he, I think DMX. you had DMX on. Yeah, Stop, I had DM, drop. Yeah, it was one of them. I forget DMX. what I had. I had the police. I think Roxanne, I think I don't forget yep. that. There's also a team of gamers and DJs programmed punch sequences for each song. Every workout is unique and challenging. The uh, the difficulty is up to you. You can put it on easy. Uh, you can make it as difficult as you want. You don't even realize how hard you're working after you get done working out with the light boxer because you're just having fun with it. It's music playing. You you know what I'm saying? And you could uh, profile tracks to your accuracy and power for each workout so you get better and compare results with friends who, you know, who try to beat you. So it's a competitive thing too. So when you're out and about and you check out light boxer, man, all you got to do is go to lightboxer.com backslash game. Boy, you could pick it up. I'm pretty sure it's in stores and stuff. But the easiest way is go to lightboxer dot com backslash game and you get 200 off your purchase 200. or use the code game at checkout and get 200 off your purchase right right absolutely so okay you got years in now because you look like you and drake been together since kids damn near mm-hmm. yeah I, we've been knowing each other since we were 17 17 what's the, like got two children isla eight yeah Kyle's a seven yeah and I got my other children. I got I got an older son named Tyler. Okay. And I got another son that's the same age as Isla. He him and Isla eight. Isla born November thirtieth, and Casey born December the eighteenth. Oh, okay. That's when I said uh in that song uh, a baby mama's kid two weeks apart. I can't make this up. Yeah. When yeah. I said that in the song, well, I'm very transparent in all yeah. my music. Absolutely. Yeah. One thing about you, you're going to tell the fucking truth. <laughs> gonna tell See, the fucking a truth. lot of people tell you <laughs> just the good. I'm going to tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Yeah. Like, man, I ain't going to lie, big brother. I was so scared. I just dove in this shit. Yeah. yeah. They not going to tell you that. Man, I went in there and whooped the shit out of this nigga. Right. Uh, I had butterflies in my stomach. I was scared to death. Right. Yeah. I wasn't scared. I was scared to death. Yeah. Nigga, STD. That's nigga. me. I told you but the moments I had. But, like it's, but it's okay. Fear is a, it's a beautiful thing. But you know, and you and, and you you face fear with bravery, right? It's an act of like, valor. Like I think everybody where we come from in the ghetto, and uh, that's why I be telling people just live because everybody, you know, we was raised to be not be vulnerable. Or you gonna get taken advantage of? Don't love, don't show emotion. Everything was built of in the ghetto. We had to fortify ourselves. Right. So we we grew up living a lie, and we couldn't feel. Mm-hmm. It was like 
you can't even feel in the ghetto. If I live in the ghetto, I'm from the inner cities of America. And you implode. I can't, I can't even feel. So now I'm carrying all this shit around, all this hurt, all this pain. I can't cry. I can't be emotional. I can't love. I can't be vulnerable. It's just all this shit, and it fucks you up as you grow. You be, you be, you know, you, and then you know when you get to the penitentiary, you just in that cell now, and then you got to think about all this shit that you didn't went through, and you couldn't express yourself. So it, it just be fucking crazy. It's crazy. Have you ever heard of the term an emotional detox? No. Well, I just discovered this on my journey. You know, most of the emotions that we go through. The journey. Like traumas. Yeah, life is a journey, not a Thank destination. You. Thank you. Most of the traumas that we go through, we harbor in our gut. I never knew this. but We harbor emotions in our gut. That's our first brain. That's the CPU, the central processing unit for the body. Okay. And it's certain yoga poses and yoga stretches that I do. That I was in, I was in one of these poses called a pigeon pose, and I just started crying. Just I had a big release, mm -hmm. you know. And you purge. Most people don't know what purging is. If you know, like sometimes purging, I look. They say that everything is sacred. Everything that exits the body is sacred. So you may burp, you may fart, you may cry, you may have to run to the toilet and shit. You may throw up. Whatever it is, is that negative energy is leaving the body. Mm -hmm. So I was, uh, I was doing a. a Pigeon pose, and I just had a big release. That's what we call it a release. I just start crying. I'm just, oh, just everything just coming out. And they was telling um, the person that came and talked to me, they put their hand on my back. They say, What you feeling right now? The energy that you're feeling right now is psychic debris. The energy that you're feeling right now is not your own. You're having an emotional detox. And then I it, it speared me into looking up what an emotional detox was. So now I'm looking at seeing like emotional detox. I was like, we we was never taught as children how to detox emotionally, mm -hmm. right. ever. Right. Like I wouldn't even been able to come in here and be like vulnerable because it take more strength to be vulnerable yeah. than than anything. So when when I was like on my journey with having these emotional detoxes, it allowed me to really process my emotions in the right manner. See, I'm not too hard for myself, like. You know, that's a cowardice act. And the worst thing a man could be is a coward to his own self. Uh -huh. That's the uh -huh. worst thing you could be. Because uh -huh. we know you a hoe, and you know you a hoe. When you look in the <laughs> mirror. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> and you know what's so, you know what's so funny? Like, y'all got a lot of like a lot of similarities. You know what I mean? A lot man, of, Wallow, yeah, a lot in common. Yeah, that's my dude. Yeah. Right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The good similarities, yeah, right? Yeah, but y'all yeah. got one. But this is a bad similarity. <laughs> the bad shit is the fake listen, shit. No, he no this is a bad similarity. Hey, this is a bad similarity. No, right, right here. Hold on, hold on. Hey, this is a bad similarity. They, 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 they be misunderstanding my yes, dude. Yes, they do. Like with the blessing. <laughs> they do. But let me tell you the bad similarity that y'all got in common. Y'all both did the pigeon pose. His was in a yoga class. Yours was in a prison cell. No, Y'all both they had, had a fucking camera yes, in the prison they, they, cell. No, no, they, I didn't say they had it. I said you did the prison pose. No, there's no facts. The, the pigeon go pose. Go ahead. It was in the prison cell. No, I said and y'all both had somebody touch y'all backs. You know what? One guy right? touched his back and told him, you know, you releasing energy. And the other nigga, then the nigga touched your back and said, this be hugging you, nigga. Yeah, you <laughs> like, who, who did that? <laughs> Big Stormy. You know who no, the fuck did that. No, Stormy do that. I'm telling you all. It's so crazy. I got into yoga in prison. Yeah, they had a class in there? They yeah. Had, they, had it, they had it in my jail, This is my too. first time going Wait, to Wait, hold the fuck They got up. yoga in prison. Wait, come on, cuz. Come hold. on, man. It's a mental thing. It got, you, the, they trying hey, to put you in good. Gay, still come over here with this shit, man. <laughs> no, I'm serious. No, I'm telling you. I did my first time going when I left on uh, the medium max. I went to a, 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 a minimal. They got yoga in them joints. And when man. I went to the minimal. My seller was like, man, we need to go do I'm like, I'm not about to be going through that bitch ass shit, nigga. You <laughs> go down there and you go touch your motherfucking toe. <laughs> see? I used to be like yeah, on, I used to be on his ass every time he tell me about yoga. So finally I was like, you know what, fuck it. I'm gonna go get this shit a try. Cause mm -hmm. I was reading the Arnold Schwarzenegger encyclopedia. <laughs> Everybody in jail got the, the big thick book. The, the yoga. Everybody work out to That's that shit and all that. Yeah. And Arnold Schwarzenegger was talking about stretching the muscle. Yeah. And stretching the muscle to increase strength and shit like that. So I went gay to yoga, should have tried. First two, three minutes into one pose, I had to run to the bathroom and shit. This shit really like, if you do yoga, you're a gangster. The real yoga. <laughs> yeah. yeah like, you know, what's the matter with you? Nigga, yo. 
motherfucking tripping. Yo. All this shit I fuck with this nigga about. And my nigga Gates came up here and said he started with you. It put it into a different perspective. Yeah, you gotta understand it, man. Yeah, you don't understand his life. He's on a journey too. The journey is real. This motherfucker don't understand the journey. I'm being serious. Why the one we be able to see? He don't understand no, because, like the because, journey. Like, because that was one of the only jobs this nigga didn't have in the prison. You, it you was available. You wasn't a yoga instructor. It was available though. It was there. It was there. I didn't get you know. Probably if I had more time, but I didn't. It was no Yo, story. that is crazy. Yeah, man. that's when I first started. I got into it. That's when I learned a lot of stretches. Then, and I got out of that shit when I got back on my fitness journey because I was on some really trying to just get yeah. There. But I was working out for the wrong reason. I was working out because I was dealing with a lot of shit internally, and this was my release. Now when I go to the gym, I go to feel good. I go to make myself feel good. I do it because I love it. Yeah, I'm not in there to release no negative emotions and all that shit. I do this because this will make me feel good. This is what gives me mental clarity. Then I noticed that even with my eating, my eating habits started changing because I started paying yes. attention to my body. And it's just been, it's, like I said, it's been an amazing journey. I suffered to get where I'm at. So what, you a vegan? Well, when I'm on the road, I am. But when I'm not on the road, I live by the summer. Like, we eat, we can eat red meat twice a month. Mm -hmm. So, And I only eat one meal a day. Mm -hmm. like when I wake up in the morning, my body going through the cleansing phase. That's why my tongue white. So I drink, like, either the, the hot water with some key lime in it. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I follow up with like a peppermint tea because I like tea. Mm -hmm. And then after that, if I do eat, it got to be after my workout. I probably eat like between like 2 p.m. or 4 p.m. or some shit like that. Why it still kind of got a little light in the sky? Yeah. I go through my ingestion phase. And then when you sleep, your body go through the digestion phase. Mm -hmm. That's when it eat all your bad cells up and shit like that. But I just noticed that when you eat animal products, it put plaque in your veins. I noticed that. Man, who the fuck you been talking to, man? No, he on point, chill. I know he's he been. I'm saying, you know, I'm, I'm a nerd. I understand, like, you know, I'm a nerd. I, he's on point. That go, nigga. I'm a nerd. Because this motherfucker. Yeah, this nigga give a whole class on this shit. Yeah, nigga's a legend. Yeah, I'm get, a nerd. Get, chill, chill. He's educated. I'm a nerd. And then I, that's what got me into the certain, looking at what the certain juices do. Like at nighttime, I drink tart cherry juice. Cause it remove all the inflammation out your body in the morning. I drink beet juice because it got nitrous. It got the uh, nitrous oxide in it. I believe that's what it, that's how you say it. Uh, don't, don't quote me on that. Cause I'm, but I think it's <laughs> I called don't quote me, nitrous but. oxide. And what it do is it, it, it open up the blood vessels. It, it get the blood flowing. It's yeah. just, it's just beautiful. Like I take, I don't even have muscle soreness from drinking beet juice. I'm able to work out two and three times a day. And then getting rid of the lactic acid in your body, like rolling yourself out. Mm -hmm. Like I used to have problems with my feet, used to hurt at the bottom from running so much. Mm -hmm. But now I get them like the tennis balls and roll my feet out. Yeah, oh yeah. And just drinking a lot of water. Cause I noticed that we get our moisture, our water from the food we eat. And the water that we put in our body, it's what cleanses the body for us. Milk thistle for my uh for my liver. Cause everything get processed through the liver. So I use milk thistle for the detox my liver dandelion root for the detox my kidneys uh -huh. you know i just i mean i'm weird no you uh, want it no you, ain't weird. you want some next level shit but i'm Take winning care. i'm weird but i'm winning that's and right then another thing Gilly weird and winning i like hey, that Gilly go think this crazy another thing ain't I mean, nothing gonna beat you started you in jail hey, go ahead. yeah i started my <laughs> yoga journey in jail i ain't gonna say i started <laughs> Cause I wasn't serious. Going. I'm into it now. I walk around yeah. with the lit. Yeah. You know the lit yoga the mat. The, the roll, roll up yeah. on your. I, I go in the gym with that on. Now. What niggas yeah. see? But they be like, man, this nigga serious. Hey, you think you on Russell level yet? No, no Russell so. been doing that shit for forty years. Yeah, he, he. Yeah, I ain't on his level yet. But you see the light in his face. Yeah, like the zen that he has. I just like met the, Russell. The inner peace. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I met him one time before. When you gonna start yoga? Uh, we'll talk about that some other time. Don't worry about it. Cause you don't but another it. thing I was I'm telling you that's like really healing to your body, it's going to sound crazy, is semen retention. Not releasing no semen. Like you can have, and it's beautiful. I, can, didn't I just say I was have, practicing abstinence You can have the new year? You, you thought I was tripping. Nah, nah, that's, nah, you need to have sex. You can have sex, but your, but intention, don't come. your intention should be to please your partner. And, and don't, 
and don't release no semen. If you feel like you about to release, stop. And let it just, it's going to heal your central nervous system and everything. Heal your brain. No. So you say you got to have a mean pullout no, game. No, that's like going to the gun range and looting the no, gun. Up and going. It's, it's about, it's and you got to have a pullout game. I ain't going to say pullout game for me. It's about knowing your body. Mm -hmm. See, I engage in a lot of foreplay because I ain't to please my partner. So when I say foreplay, I mean I like to kiss everything. That's just me. Yeah. I want this. Don't even tell me your spot. I'm going to find it. Mm. That's just me. I like to, I aim to please my partner, whatever partner that I'm dealing with at the time. Mm -hmm. But I notice if I just go in there with the intention of just fuck the pussy, that's microwave pussy. You, <laughs> bing, it's over with. But if you go in there with the intention to please your partner, I want to see, can I make this woman come? Can I make you squirt? I'm not a squirter. Let, let me see. Eat that ass out see. till you pass Eat out. Eat that ass out till you pass out. Well, I start with the feet first. Like, because a woman walk on her feet all day. I ain't going to give away my recipe, but yeah, it's, you know. <laughs> you start I'm, with the tootsies, I'm, huh? I'm a, I'm a dicksman. <laughs> 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 now, I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie. Go ahead. I did have to go get my lick back for when I was on drugs. You know, that drug dick, you know, that that wasn't. But yeah, hey, y'all be seeing me work that ass well. Yeah. Yeah. I'm on demon time. Yeah. <laughs> With all due respect. Demon time, demon time, demon time. Yeah, I'm Kill a, the pussy, but she's alive. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a dicks, man. And I, and I take pride in being that because the way that you fuck your woman in private is how she going to respect you publicly. Mm. And you be a gentleman. Mm. I'm still opening the door for you. I'm still a gentleman. When yes, I sir. get you in this box, mm. I'm not about to play with you. No, I'm about to fuck the leather yes, off you. Fuck the leather off you. And, fuck and, the and, brakes off you. And, and it's so beautiful because it's so beautiful because I'm really, I really feel like I'm giving up too much game, but. No, but the young niggas need it. I feel like I'm giving up too much game because all that come with it, just the respect you have for the womb. Mm -hmm. Like, just the respect that you have for the womb. You enter the womb, gentle, you enter the womb with humbleness. A woman may have sex with you, but her body may reject you. Mm, talk heavy. A lot of people don't know that. The womb is its own chakra, it's its own entity. Mm -hmm. It's in synchronicity with the moon, whether it's the new moon, the, the the waxing moon, you know, the moon cycle is is a woman's womb is in tune with the moon. Mm. So that's another thing I'm big on that too. Like even before I even have sex, I pray because this is spiritual. All great men came through the womb of a woman. Mm -hmm. Even Ooh, you super what, deep. What Jesus, what Jesus, <laughs> he is super. So deep. I'm just saying, like I'm just saying. So Teach. just the, the the respect that you have for yourself and your partner, like even with the even my men know even. Even my men know, because we talk about this. I'm like, man, when y'all finish with a, when you finish with your woman, you know, you got to be that type of nigga to go get that hot towel and, you know, and wipe that pussy. You got to be that nigga. I always wipe away from the pussy because you don't want to get no fecal matter that could give her a Talk heavy. That, yes, could, that could cause her pH levels to be out of balance. Mm -hmm. Fuck wrong If you eating fucked up in front of your woman and she eating fucked up, that could cause her pH levels to be out of balance. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If the body is very sensitive. And when a woman have an odor, it's not a bad thing. It's just letting you know what, what needs to be corrected. So I just look at it like that. You know, it's the problem is a lot of young niggas want to beat it up but don't want to eat it up. Yeah. Well, you know, got warm the car for you. I'm a, to jump I'm a, in the I'm a, I'm a, I hate to be a nerd. You know why? You know why a lot of the like the ancients, like the ancients, I'm talking about like the the gods, they never ate pussy. Like because they felt as if the crown was never supposed to go below a woman's waist. They felt like just the intellectual intercourse and the mental safaris that they go on. Because I noticed, like, if I'm fasting with my partner, like, say, after about a seven or a eight-day fast, like, about that seventh day, like, after you shit your mucus lining out, like, once you go, like, it take me, like, six days, just, just water. That's when I... When everything liquid and you shit the mucus lining out. For people that don't know what the mucus lining is, that's what coats your intestines. That's what trap all the toxins and shit mm. from going everywhere in your body. So that's why fasting is so beautiful and, and for the body. I just come off a of fast. But after you shit the mucus lining out, and you and your woman, just y'all talking, y'all conversations are going to be so stimulative that you wouldn't even have to have no oral, nothing with her. You you wouldn't even have to give her fellatio and she's still just, you know, she's in a pure her purest form. But me, I just love to just 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 make this bitch go crazy because I just ain't <laughs> to please my partner. So that's yeah. why I do that. And that's like when I was like with the eating ass, like yeah. like a lot of niggas just lick ass. 
You got to eat that motherfucker. No, I eat ass. I want my, my tongue long in his head. I'm going to put my whole tongue in this bitch ass, man. And that just come from, man, that bitch. Man, you love that bitch. Man, you a fuck up, man. I, who, huh? Man, I eat all that whole booty, man. You know, that just. Go ahead, talk you up, know, nigga. Yeah, you know, no, no, no. That's yeah. just, you love that's her eat her ass. ass. That's just a passion that. Eat her ass out <coughs> till she pass out. Yes, Lord. Till she pass out. But don't run. Push Be back. Be shaking and all that yeah, shit. She's shaking, dripping. That shit just. Oh, shit dripping? No, no, not oh, that, bro. Right. It's dripping. That coochie dripping. And you just. Oh. But and a, woman, a woman. Soaking wet your whole I, face. A woman oh, could come. Yeah. A woman could come out their ass. Yeah, they could come out their ass. But just, you know, a lot of times, like when you going deep with your tongue, like, nah, I'm, I'm going to grip you. Yeah, she got Yeah, don't go nowhere. I'm going to grip you. Yeah, and push back. Yeah. Push back. Yeah. Yeah, push back, baby. What's she doing, baby girl? You know what I mean? But you know, like I say, I'm a dicks man. I ain't to please my partner. You know, you know, I done done some charity work. <laughs> <laughs> I done done some charity work out you. Yes, sir. I done done some charity work. Yeah. What this about, man? Wallow to. Yeah, you know what it I is. I mean, we know. all have. I mean, this like some charity work. Like, nigga. like I say, if you ain't never, if you ain't never fuck a hype, you ain't no real street nigga. Mm-hmm. You ain't. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, we didn't out. Come on, like we didn't out did that. We didn't hit the big girls and all that, you know? Oh, yeah. I didn't. I didn't I, been on the real I'm still a bust of big yeah, girl. He, up. No, no. He, he got it. He got it. Still to this day, he got this big bitch from the Northeast all in my DM talking about tell Wallow I'm sorry. They, hey, I ain't going to lie. I came home and big, ripped her. Big girl. Hey, big girl. Hey, big, big girl going to stroke your ego. You know, Big girl gonna stroke your ego. She gonna appreciate you. You know, you gotta go where you celebrate and not where you tolerate. Uh, I'm yeah. you fucking right. She, she gonna was celebrating me. She gonna eat dick like a Twinkie. She was celebrating me in the DM. Ripped out the frame. So I mean, like I say, that's that's one thing with me. Like I done got into fitness and shit, but you know, I still, I still a bust a big bitch up. I ain't doing no pain. <laughs> <laughs> I bust your ass. Hey. I'm, yeah, come here. No picks. Yeah, if a bitch say I ain't in her stomach, she hating on me. <laughs> yeah, that's right. A big one, too. <laughs> that that was that bullshit. Listen to big girls, too. Big girls, that you hear that, that shit? Bullshit. All the big girls out of y'all see what the fuck's going on. Yo, yo. Hey, say, bro, every time, yo, see, this is our first time crazy. being on the app. Yo, every time, yo. Hey, hey, listen, while I'm before you came home, yo. when Gilly come to my shows and shit, I'm going to be honest, he always come by himself. And then we sit in the back and just be talking shit yeah. just like this. Yep. Yeah. Real talk. Fucking crazy you know, ass nigga. I, I never been the type of nigga that rolled with a lot oh, of Oh, you act, but hold up. You act like you ain't never hit no big no big girl. Oh, no, no. I, 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 back I, in the day, Fat Keisha, you remember you had, used to be waiting at the school for? Keisha, on, was, Keisha was chubby, nigga. She wasn't fat. Fuck oh, she was cool. It's cool. Ain't that whole? She, big oh, girl. She, was, cool. she was one of the. She had some love handles. And she, she had, had that, that snapper because you kept going the fuck back. Yeah, she, she did. She had that snapper album. She, she was a big girl. Was that she motherfucker was, was tight and right. she had that figure, though. Yeah, she did. She oh, that, had, that's them the ones I like. She had that shape to her, you know. Yes, Lord. She, had, she was a little chubby. Yeah, you I know like what I mean? But keep it real. Everybody in the hood was trying to that blitz fluff. the bitch like it was four yeah, minutes. She had that fluff. Ball on the goal line. But I was, wasn't just the way everybody listen, was trying to blitz the bitch. Is, is it different? That, that shit different because it'd be snapping. That. She had that fluff to where you couldn't just listen. stand behind it as you had to get in. Yeah, you, you had, had to one get leg, crack, one, one, one leg in between the other leg and pull it to that bitch. yeah. Yeah. Listen, that situation. What? When I first came home, that was in your DM. Yeah, she was cool, but she kept pulling up. She pulled up down the way because I never showed the way. I was oh yeah, oh yeah. Nanny she block. pulled up. She, she pulled kept up being on Broad and Allegheny. So yeah. my man was like, "Yo, some girl." I got a over. question. I though. said, "I'm getting hold." Was you honest with her about everything? Fuck no. What you mean, honest with her? Fuck like, no. Hey, I just came home. We fucking. That was the whole. No. I just came home. Like, well, cause you, I ain't never seen nothing else like, about that. That's all like, she said in your DM. I just I, came home. We fucking. I hope I ain't being disrespectful because I I love like my my child's mother, my other son's mother. I love her. I do. She's a great person. Baby, please don't be mad. But when I met her, the first thing I told her was, I want you to be my other old lady. And I ain't telling no shit like that. I just came out the joint. And she was like, dudes just don't know how far they'll get if they just kept it real. And that's why I got Isla born in November and my other son, Kason, born in December. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like I was honest with her, so that's why. But I mean, how how you just come out and just say that like that? Like, uh, no, no, he he he. he listen, I'm fresh like, out of jail. I'm, I'm looking at different. it like this. This is what he want. You nobody, gotta be straight nobody up. Nobody's worth a lie, and the no, truth is the best no, game. Nobody's worth a lie. And how my mama taught me is, if you tell a woman the truth, she'd take like, baby, you tell a woman the truth, bitch gonna treat you like God. 
And I just was always, I'm just big on being honest. Like, honesty is the best part. But policy. that's just how you told me? some shit ain't your business, you heard me? Right. Some shit just ain't your business. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know, so we ain't about to, <laughs> hey, I ain't about to let you interrogate me. Right. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't know how to answer no questions. <laughs> right. But. <laughs> yeah. That's real <laughs> shit. <laughs> hey, but I'm going to be honest. Yeah. It is, you know, yeah, I want you to be my other old lady. And what she say? <laughs> that's some that's some gangster shit. You said what she say? What she say? We got a kid. What the fuck you mean? What she say? say what no the, more. We got what a the kid. Fuck is wrong with this. We got a, no, no, but we got a kid though. No. no, but I'm saying it's still a conversation. Sometimes I understand he had the kid, but you know, sometimes I'm asking, was it the conversation? She, she all made, the nigga she, game she, was platinum in 111 made, countries. I love she that. made she made she made that she made our child like that was a. That's when I I think I make my my babies is after an argument. She was on top of me. I knew. I told her, I say that's that I say that's the little girl. But it really I didn't know that women make men and men make women. She was on top of me. She made a little boy. Yeah. Mm. Oh, and so if you on top, day. you make a boy? <laughs> she, she loved me to this day. <laughs> that's what I read. Women make men and men make women. Mm. Man. So hold on. When I released, she was on top of me. Mm. She made the little boy. Mm-mm. I you, just talked to her yesterday. I mean, to this day, I mean, we still friends. Yeah, good friends. Yeah, like every, she she saw what I went through. She like she like I'm so proud of you. Yeah. I'm like thank you. That mean a lot coming from you because <laughs> you used to be used to be verbally abusive to me. <laughs> <laughs> and then she laughed and shit like that. But that's just it. Just is what it is. Yeah, it's life, baby. Absolutely, it's life. Absolutely, I'm not perfect. None of us are. I'm gonna make mistakes. And then tomorrow, I'm going to make a bunch of new mistakes that I never made before. But I'm going to live in my truth. Now, and when you live in your truth, you make all of the wrong people uncomfortable. Yes, you do. So mm. fuck them. Fuck them. <laughs> now, who do you listen to? Musically. Musically. Man, you're going to be mad at me. No, I'm not. Yeah. I, I, like, I, like, I like certain songs by artists. I like Dua Lipa. That talking in my sleep at night, making myself crazy. Go ahead. Who else? Um, I love Adele. I like. I like. You remember Hometown Glory by Adele? No. You fuck with that one. That was early. No. In the game. Yeah, that was that was before my time. I like Adele. I like Adele. I ain't gonna lie. She. I. I see a lot of myself in her. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I know she suffers on the inside internally. I like Adele. Um, it just depends. I mean, I like that dude Mooski. Mm-hmm. They run a yeah, Mooski, track yeah, star. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Track I like that song. And then I listen to a lot of Afro. I like Faruko, mm-hmm. the, um, the, the Puerto Rican rapper. Puerto Rican rapper. I like him. Uh, I don't know. I'm just different, man. If you see my playlist, you're going to be like, what the fuck? All right, now, rapper-wise. Oh, rapper? No, see, yeah, you no, got to no, say rapper-wise. No, I'm going to say rapper-wise right now. That's living right now? No. Right now. Oh, uh, dead. Never, no, I'm, I'm just, I ain't going to say a list, but I'm going to say right now. What five rappers right now you never did a fucking track with? You never said nothing to that you would like to do a music with right now? He said Meek. He said Drake. No, no. Me not counting them. He already talked about them. What five rappers right now on some real shit? You never spoke to them, but you, you wouldn't mind getting on the track with them right now that's out right, right now. now? That's out right now. That, that I feel like we would co-create? Yeah, right yeah. now. Yeah, that's out right now. Out right now. They got to be out right now. Yeah, it can't be no shit. That no. I wish I could have did a song. With no, them. no, right no, now. no. Uh, uh-uh. uh. I don't even know who jumping right now that'll make me. Oh, Young Nudie. Oh, Nudie the shit. We From had Nudie on the show. Yeah, mm-hmm. Nudie the shit. Riding around, Young Nudie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And who else? <laughs> um, shit. Uh, Rollo Rodriguez. Rollo like Rodriguez, him. Atlanta. I like him. I yeah. like Lil Baby. Lil Baby. Yeah, we'll go crazy. Yeah. If we just lock in together, yeah, we'll go crazy. Yeah, that motherfucker would be stupid. Stupid. Um, you say right now. I like that bitch YSL Gunner. YSL Gunner. Yeah, I like yeah. that Soul Out Dates. Yeah. It just be certain songs that that you might have right. that I, I want to fuck with. You say like rappers. Just, I, I wish I could have worked with Vaughn. We used to be in each other DM a little bit. Yeah. We was in each other DM a little bit. I had son Durka, uh I sent Durka on um, a video of my daughter 
dancing to uh Vaughn shit. Mm. He sent to Devon. Vaughn got straight in my DM. Yeah. What's up, mm-hmm. He was in he was in Cook County when I was in Cook County. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He was a hey, he was a gangster. Yeah. No PC, no nut. Yeah. And that's it. I don't I have to I don't know. Like we need one more. You say one more. That's out right now. Me and the baby I already got shit to go. The baby, yeah. Yeah, so me yeah. and the baby, like when um when I met him, it was like he like where you at? And I pull up to the studio. It's like we had knew each other forever. I fuck that with that. Ju- nigga. That just was yes, his he vibe. Different. He I different. fuck with that. He different. Nigga. He different. That just He's a real motherfucker. Vibe. He's a real that motherfucker. That was just. It's like we knew each other forever. He. I'm like we just in that bitch. We just having fun. Just do we got a song that's unreleased called Front Door. Mm-hmm. That motherfucker. That nigga. I'm talking about what a nigga. Yeah, man, it, it ain't an order. He couldn't fulfill the little bitch front door. Right. Man, nigga, if you say <laughs> right. front door, they know what's. <laughs> but I mean, I can't think like you say right now, just just out. That's that's probably it. That's probably it. That's out right now. Mm-hmm. Young, I, I say, I say, young Nudie. Nudie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He different. It's, it's and, a key. oh Rollo when he get home, but me and him got music together. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I know him in the deal. We argue. Free Rilo, man. We we Rilo. argue all day in the deal. Yeah. That's all we do an argue. We both the queers. We argue. Me and Rilo argue all day. Yeah. I love him the deal. He love me. We argue about stupid shit. <laughs> I say, man, say, bro, hey, I say, this is when I had disconnected my Instagram and mm. shit. I say, man, say, bro, so you don't call me no more because a nigga done wrote a bitch ass letter. Huh? Man, guess why you worried about my bitch ass letter? I thought you was, I thought you was taking a break from the world. How you know about my bitch ass letter? <laughs> <laughs> we argue all day. Yeah. Free Rollo, man. Real talk. Now nah, we gonna get he on the way. You about yeah, to he on the way. We gonna go to. We gonna take it here, y'all. Stories from the cell. Now this, huh? This early in my bit. This when I first get to the penitentiary, right? So I'm in the pen, right? I was in there. This when I was in the cell with Ooh, here, OG Umar. This the one I told you gave me the game, gave me the run around on how to how to do this and that, how to cook, right? So I'm in there, right? And uh, this is the first time a CO pushed up on me. It was this white white CO dude named Austin, right? Hank Austin. I'll never forget this shit. So I'm doing my thing. And they got this thing that when young cats come into the penitentiary, now I'm in the mountains in Pennsylvania, in Dallas Penitentiary. Hardcore white boys, no joke. Don't give a fuck about your gangster shit, who you killed, why you killed. Nigga, you ain't got no gun in here. You a nigga in here. We don't give a fuck about you. So I'm young. And, you know, when they they, they try to break you, because when you see you in the yard, you're walking around with the other young cats, and y'all just young, y'all don't give a fuck. Y'all disrespectful, y'all don't care. So he seen me with some people. Even though I was laid back and I was a little chill, he run down on me, try to break me. So I'm standing at the cell, right? So everybody, everybody went to the child, but I had to come back and grab my ID because I ain't had my ID on me. So I had to double back. So I double back. I'm standing there. He doing his rounds to close the door, making sure everybody door closing, you know, making sure everything cool. So I'm standing there. He, he looked at me, he said, he said, what you want? He said, why you here? But the way he gave me this energy is like, I posed to fold up and break down and I ain't even gonna hold you. He tell me something, why you here? My mind the whole time, I'm like, I'm gonna do my time and I'm gonna get the fuck out of jail. So he like, he like, why you here? Why you ain't with anybody else at? On the street level, he talking to me. He not talking to me as a white man from middle America in the boonies. He talking to me like he a street nigga. Like, why you here? Why the fuck you ain't, why the fuck you ain't that child? This, that, and the third. At this moment, I'm sitting there. I'm like, what? I'm saying what in my head? I'm like, no, I forgot my ID. He said, what, what the fuck you doing leaving your cell without your fucking ID? I should make you just lock the fuck up. Won't happen again, sir. So, so listen, I hit the joint because in my mind, it was crazy. I'm like, what? In my mind. But I'm not saying, I'm like, it's no problem, C.O. Austin, this, that, third. I'm all on some chill shit. He let me in. I get my ID. He said, don't let that fucking happen again. He slammed my door and all this shit. Right? Yes, sir. Right away, sir. So I, I walk back down the chow, right? <laughs> so later on, when we come back in the cell, I tell Umar, I say, Umar, man, that motherfucking awesome. He said, uh, he said, yeah. He said, uh, what happened? I told him. I said, yeah, that motherfucker. So the whole energy, I'm talking to him in the cell. I'm like, yeah, that motherfucker. Boom, 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 boom. He, yeah. he said, what did you say to him? Did you say anything you telling me? I said, no. Nah. And this is one of the days I learned a powerful lesson about how we see each other and how we see others. He said, so you sat there 
and you walked away respectfully because honestly, you ain't say nothing because if you did, he would have took you to the hole. You would have got a write up. Mm-hmm. So yeah, no, I ain't say nothing. You know, I'm trying to go home and stand third. He said, you'll kill somebody that looked like you though. If they had disrespected you like that in the streets. Yes, sir. You would have killed another brother that looked like you. Now, Omar, he used to be the E-man. This is the OG, triple OG. Like He was the E-man out of the prison. This, so I'm just listening to him. And he really woke me up when he said, you'll rob, you'll steal, you'll kill, you'll hurt somebody else if he looked like you. But you just gave that man the ultimate respect and he led with disrespect. He said, how you feel about that? So now I'm sitting on the toilet. I'm like this. You were shitting? No, that's, oh, you right. sit just on the toilet. I'm, I'm, I'm just making you be sure. You sitting, you have a cover over there. And that's Nigga, I'm sitting. just making sure. He, you on his bed, I'm right here talking. So I'm sitting there. I'm one leg in, one Listen, leg out, one shit. Yeah, yeah, but no, we ain't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know how you do it. No, we ain't and I ain't that. I mean, it might go yeah. platinum. I yeah. don't want to get caught up in yeah, my Yeah, you don't want to get caught up. But I wasn't sitting on the toilet shit, and I'm just talking. So, oh, so right. we sitting there. You know how you be sitting there leaning on the joint? So listen, yes, sir. I'm sitting there, right? No, no. Okay. So he tell me. I'm one leg, one leg. <laughs> Hold up, cuz. This nigga crazy, man. So. I'm sitting there, Gates, and I'm well, like, "Well, you fucking stand up and try to have a yeah, fight with, hey, buddy, shit. you fucking stand up with your goddamn no, pants around your ankles." He think he ain't a motherfucking joke. <laughs> no, it's just the way he said that shit. I, I ain't know what he was you. saying. <laughs> hey, listen, motherfucker, get you, you're done. That's, <laughs> what, that's why you gotta have the door jam too. You gotta have the door jam, but man, sometimes you gotta be on point, bitch. Running because your motherfucking, because you know, your motherfucking celly might, you know, whatever. And we gonna do it where it happened. I don't go get no shoes for nobody. Wherever it happened, we going platinum. So listen, diving your shit wherever wherever it go. So peep game. So now, he checked the shit out. He said, "He said you gotta, he said, you gotta stay the same. He said stay the same with them the way you would be, and if you was in the streets, if you was in North Philly right now, it would have been different. You had a gun on you, or whatever it was, it'd have been different." He said, "Don't don't show these certain people because they white man, all this all this positive peaceful shit, but you will disrespect your motherfucking people." No, sir. We peaceful at all costs. You know what I'm saying? No, but I'm just but saying. he who draws his yeah. sword should be met with brute force. We are not the we aggressors. We understand that. We understand We war with those who war with us. Mm. But like. You know how it is in the penitentiary. you respect a man first, that's that real intimidation. Yeah. I'm, I'm, there's nothing wrong with, oh, yes, sir. Yes, but sir. But I'm still dabbing your shit. Mm-hmm. I'll mm-hmm. make you use your pistol on me right here. I'll make you kill me right here. Mm-hmm. But yes, sir. Mm-hmm. But see, that's how, that's how I carried it. I'm mm-hmm. peaceful and humble at all costs. Mm-hmm. I carried it. I lived to see another day. So it was like. But it was, it was a moment where I just peeped the whole energy and it's like, we kill each other in the streets for less than that type shit. Motherfucker ain't got to go to far. How far he went with me, motherfucker ain't got to go that far and you'll blow a motherfucker head off just being realistic. We do because it's, it's egos. It's not putting mm-hmm. proper perspective. You know, they got men and they got kids. Yes. You know, I'm one of the men. Yeah. So that's like even, even, like even my son, he number seven, but I tell him, yes, sir, no, sir, because I'm giving him that respect. You the man. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Stick your chest out. Man. You know, you a man. I'm going to respect you. That's like even the children that I deal with, like, over here in the other neighborhood. Like, you know, yes, sir, no, sir. I greet them with that respect because, hey, I want, it, it just make me feel good to respect a man. That make me feel good. You a man. I don't care what, man, you a man. Hey, yes, sir. That just make me feel good. Even a woman. Oh, yes, ma'am. It just make me feel good. I guess because I'm from the South. We big on that, like mm-hmm. yes, on that, on that being respectful, absolutely. Because that we already broke, we already come from nothing. All we got is our respect. I'm gonna die over this shit. Mm-hmm. I ask myself sometimes, like, would you go do a life sentence and be taken away from your children over disrespect? Without questions, <laughs> I can't look at myself in the mirror. <laughs> They're all gonna laugh at me. <laughs> yeah. I can't look at myself. <laughs> hey, the worst thing a man could be is a coward to his own self. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But sometimes when you got a lot to lose, you got to let a lot slide. I understand that also. Yeah. So I'm not going to place myself in an environment that's going to make me have to get out my little character. No, but a lot of times you got to let most shit slide. There's only certain shit that you like, uh, nah, that shit right there. It was blatant. Yeah, that shit right gotta there. Go that's with- a technical foul, nigga. Fuck, yeah, I, can't that. I can't let that. I can't let you violate. It's just not in me to you let this violate. type yeah. of shit slide. I got to demonstrate. I, right, real talk. I got to demonstrate. Now, that, that's just a lot of times with you even just being a man. Now, yes, sir. In prison, Gates, today, did anybody ever try to press up on you? No, sir. Because you was Gates? No, sir. Any altercations? No, sir. So, well, you know, the thing about how I carry myself is so different because, you know, you don't have to go on protective custody. Yeah. You can sign a waiver and go in general population. Mm-hmm. Me being Muslim, 
I live by the creed that I feel nothing but a law. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I've been doing it. This ain't my first rodeo. Now in juvenile detention, I had a lot of fights. A lot, a lot of fights. And then that's when I kind of learned how to lay back. But you know, adult jail structure. Yeah, structure um, like they, a motherfucker. You know, these man, people get on TV and talk this silly that shit. Be ass fake. Shit, that know? should be fake. That shit, man, that's, hey, jail is not set up like that. No, it's not. Because 90% of, 90, what, 95% of niggas in jail don't even scuffle, don't even fight. Mm -hmm. They run and go get a knife. Are they are they running with a <laughs> you running with a team? The team, yeah. Because you ain't gonna get out there by yourself. Nope. You're not gonna get out there. So I mean, for what? And then my my game, my game that I play is so different. I got a laid back game when I'm in jail, because I'm up all night, but I sleep all day. You know, you sitting there bitch and read, you you know, I'm in a top, I like top wrecks. Yeah. I like to be in a Told top break. Always be on the top. Yeah, you, you ain't, ain't you ain't running down on me on no cell. Nah, it ain't even you that. run right you down, motherfucker. You ain't about to sit your ass on my bed and mm -hmm. get to talking to me. <laughs> you know that's the first thing nigga want to do. Nigga want to sit, sit on, on your bed. bed. Yeah. I'm you on top. You know what I'm saying, man? I'm top wreck. I'm all the way out the way, so I'm not gonna have no problem. I don't watch TV. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm never really on the phone because it seems like the more I get on the phone, it seems like my time starts slowing down. But when you in your own element and you got your own little routine and your own program set up. It's just beautiful because you at one with yourself. I ain't even into the bullshit. You can miss me with it. Now, if you indigent, if you indigent, I'm going to ask you, hey, this your first rodeo? No. You got somebody to love you out there? No. Look, I'm going to put $100 in your account. I want 80 You keep the 20 mm hmm That's it. Because I really don't even go to child. I'm going to live out my box. Right. When I come, I might come on chicken day. Right. It's a special occasion when the beloved come through the child. You not even about to see me like that. Right. Where he at? <laughs> right. yeah. You just know I'm on the compound. Right. And, you know, unfortunately. Until chicken day, nigga. Un unfor <laughs> and that get broke. That's that's getting broke. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, you know, anywhere I go, I'm just going to always be in a leadership position. Because I'm a natural leader. I'm an Aquarius. Yes, sir. So that's just anywhere I go. And I'm not, I ain't, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm, I'm a big thermostat out here. I'm controlling the temperature. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm controlling that temperature. There's nothing to brag about or nothing like that, but it's just certain shit that just ain't gonna go. We gonna live by the law. We gonna live by the law. The law of the land. And listen, man. that was stories from the cell. This episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by Roman Swipes. One thing about these Roman Swipes, what you do is you wipe it on. You let it dry. You make her fly. I'm telling you, this right here is gonna take you, you to the next level. Used it? Listen. Oh yes, sir. Check this out right here. Here you go, Kev. You might need some of these just in case. Mm -hmm. They're outstanding. Gil, he love them. These Roman swipes right here, I listen, do. next level. I'm talking about you got all type of people tearing my phone up in my DM, all type of family members. Yo, I need some Roman swipes. I need some more, man. Did, did, everybody. Did, listen, oh, everybody. I'm talking about it, they, It's I'm a talking number about, agent. Yeah, listen. It's a number agent. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, listen, this stuff is a real deal. I'm talking about effects are easy to use. I'm talking about fast acting. You don't need no prescription or none of that. I'm talking about what none you need that. to do is you need to go to GetRoman.com. Slash game and listen for your first month of swipes. Your first, I'm talking about your first month of swipes, just five dollars when you choose a monthly plan. Oh, what you going? What, what did you doing, man? I'm showing them. But why is you open it like you? I'm showing them. Look at it. Listen, look how small look it is. It. Listen, oh, man. listen, oh, shit. <laughs> listen. I'm telling you, you'll take it to the fourth quarter. Nigga, it's over. Your a lot of you dudes Yo. is you know minute mans and first fuck quarter players. You'll take it to the fourth. Look, look at them. Look at these. Only be zippers. All these different plays, man. You get listen. You get eight in a box, man. What did you waiting for? Get your Roman swipes right now. Go to getroman.com/slash game g a m e man and get your first month of swipes for just five dollars. What are you waiting for? I'm talking about easy to use and you can put them in your wallet. Roman swipes. Hold on, man. Before we go any further, man. OG Booby, motherfucker. Booby Black right Sitting there, man. Over there, come on, man. Come, come in the screen, man. That's come in the fuck, screen to say something, man. That's my fucking man. guy, man. Every time come he screen, touch down, I, Kev. Come in the screen to say something. Put your glasses on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Come in the screen and say something, man. Every time he come in town, he, he, yeah, come on, he come through and fuck with, with a nigga, man. Talk your shit, man. Tell him who you is. Huh? Oh, man, they already know who I am. My presence alone don't need no fucking introduction. Hey, what talk heavy. Do, uh -huh. What the fuck are you trying to do? You uh -huh. trying to make me a new some of these bitches? When I'm, in, I'm in Philly. They know what's happening in Philly. You know, I tap in with Gilly. You know Absolutely. Know Every you know fucking is, time, man. brother. Yeah, Every we'll motherfucking black. time, it's man. It's definitely an honor to be amongst you guys right here. You know what I'm saying? Man, we you know appreciate it. I appreciate y'all. You know, bringing the motherfucker out. Y'all know what it is, you dig? Absolutely, man. bringing Kevin out. He's an awesome motherfucker when it comes to this shit. You know? Hey Kev, one thing about Kev, man, like I said, man, Kev is a motherfucker. Kev, younger than me, and I learned a lot of shit from him. 
Hey, you know, that, that says a lot, you know what I'm saying? Kim smart as shit, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you don't get this far. You don't get this far in life, you know, and running million-dollar businesses and having farms and being a dumb nigga, man. Right, right, right. That's right. just part of the game. So it's, it's pretty obvious that the nigga is, but I didn't know this nigga was this versed. In, in man, the, make my net worth be on Google $5. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna believe that shit, man. You got llamas and shit, man. Shit. Fucking camels and all. Put everything kinds of in shit. the trust. Fuck it. <laughs> I don't want to be worth nothing on paper. <laughs> Motherfucker, taxes is vicious. Those, those are some fucking pets, man. You know what I'm saying? You have, you have, you have people that get you know all type of different shit for pets. You know, Kevin, he's he's different. His pets are pretty. You know, they some different shit. You know, he know them all by name. They know him, you know what I'm saying? You, how many pets you got all together? It's a lot pits. of them. Oh, yeah, I mean, you know, you good, brother. Pets I got. I got a uh got exotic a I got an exotic livestock uh form, like license. So I can have camels, alpacas. Um I got Nigerian dwarf goats, because they got like the sweetest milk. I got these chickens that lay purple eggs. Like real shit. Like I got a hatchery. Like free range organic chickens, where your eggs not even supposed to go in the refrigerator. I don't know who invented that lie. Like your egg, they come in a protective coating. When you when you get your eggs, when you hatch them, you take them inside and just leave them in a basket. You don't put them in the refrigerator. They come with a protective coating on it. And then when you eat them, I never I'm never mucusy. You know my nose don't be running and all that. Like the yolk that you eat, I don't get sick. I don't get a cough. None of that. And I just noticed that, you know, the food that we eat from our land that we grew ourselves, we have a different type of attachment to it because we grew it. Yeah. <laughs> we grew it. <laughs> you know, we had to nurture this and pray and all of these things that, you know, and God blessed us and Mother Earth gave us in abundance. So it's a different type of attachment that you have to it and then going to Whole Foods and just getting some lettuce. You know, mm. you didn't grow that. Right. You go there, the watermelon, I, I don't even want to say this, the watermelon got white seeds. Watermelon supposed to have black seeds. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's just genetically modified food. But I'm not against genetically modified food because I met this dude, he from Antarctica, and he was coming by seeds. I was like, what you do? He was like, I do indoor farming. He was like, where well, I'm at, we have to grow everything indoors. I think he was from Antarctica or Alaska somewhere. One of them eight places. Because I'm just, you know, I'm a nerd. I just talk to people. Just, I meet the most interesting people in, just every day. And he was just telling me, like, they own a seed bank. And I was like, a seed bank? He was like, yeah, like, we grow, we do indoor. We grow everything indoors. If we didn't, you know, it's, it's detrimental to our survival. So I'm not against it right. at all. I right. mean, some places you have to live like that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, bro, I can say this here. You heard me? I'm going to lay up there and bring a little, you know, a little city shit. I lay up there. We did a podcast. It was a podcast. It was the, you know, people know about it. It was the Health Hotline with Kevin Gates. And it was some, some real interesting shit, you know. And I was kind of, I was kind of tight on it. I didn't want to, like, too much say too much, you know what I'm saying? But I said the little things that, that I was supposed to say. And I was, you know, I was coached by Kevin. You know, um, that was some real interesting shit to me, you know what I'm saying? And not only that. That was my first time ever doing that, you know what I'm saying? And um, it's like Kevin had put me in that, he put me in that in the era right there, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, I love that shit, dog. Yeah, you so get, I, getting so, out so your so comfort I, zone, I, that I, shit raw. Right, yes. so I had got, you know, I got me some microphones, I got me some shit, I don't have the right, like everything right, but I'm getting that shit right, you know Because right. it's life about right. figuring it out, but see, Absolutely. that's like right now, all the shit I done learned from you. Yeah. You don't think the world, we want to hear the shit that the, the the shit that I done learned from you, just you. Right, yeah. The shit that I learned from just you, like right. nobody else, just you. Oh no, nah, this how y'all do that. You got to get the, you know, the shit right. I done learned from you. <laughs> right, right. You heard me? So imagine the other people in the world that want to hear this shit. I ain't know. <laughs> I get right. to talking about healthy shit. I say, man, nigga, gonna think I'm weird, man. Ain't no nigga trying to be, but niggas like want to know about this Fuck shit. Right. Absolutely. Fuck and right. I really do it. You see my results. I ain't had no surgery. Yeah. You know, I stand on principle. I ain't had no surgery. I ain't doing that. You know, no. Now, if a woman, you know, it's different. You know what I'm saying? Right. You, you know, you, you need a CDL for the operate the big motherfucker. You talking back there, get it, babe. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you're, 
you, you're right. But I'm just saying, like me, I wanted I wanted to put the work in because I noticed a lot of a lot of men that I was seeing go get surgery, they be back fat like the next week because right. you didn't discipline they yourself on out. how to eat. Right. You didn't discipline yourself. Right. You lack discipline. You cheated. Right. So you you never gonna win. Right. You know, and you out there microwave though, bitch. We cooking man, on Gil, the stove man, over man, here. Gil, right. Man, Gil talk on the phone a lot, bro. You know what I'm saying? And like I say, when I came off the help hotline with you, brother, you heard me on. Um, I hollered at Gil, and he told me a few things. He gave me a few punches. You still yes, remember sir. that conversation? Absolutely. Yeah. Fucking right. I swear to God, that shit worked. I I'm told you, nigga, so don't shout out to you on your own motherfucking show, nigga. Believe that. One of the yeah, things yeah. I told him, I said, man, don't, hate him. don't yeah. waste no time. Just do it. Fuck this shit ain't about sitting around say. overthinking shit. Nigga, just do it, nigga. Now I have my own fucking podcast, Straight Facts Podcast. I have my shit on tour with me. These two motherfuckers going to come and get on my podcast. You already podcast. know. Yes, I'm not going to say too much on this podcast because this is Kevin Gates' podcast. You know shit, what I'm saying? No, this is our shit, man. Yeah, you know, show. but... These two motherfuckers right here. Absolutely. Get like real, you know, straight facts. When I hit that button on your ass, yes, you got to repeat that shit, nigga. Absolutely. You know, I'm asking some shit, you heard? You already know. Yeah, I'm well, talking listen. about for real. About when you used to throw your line out the window, niggas to grab your shit, you heard me? You trying to slide oh, some yeah, shit? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to tell you about all that shit. <laughs> the line. The line. Oh, you got to know how to fish, man. Yeah, hey, you a big yeah. fisherman. You got to know shit. how to fish. Under the door. That shit go all the way over. Man, niggas try to fish some shit in front of myself one day. I intercepted. You intercepted somebody's shit? Black tail. <laughs> black tail took that I took the nigga bitch yeah and when the cell rack back you know what I'm saying oh, Wallow, you, you and Wallow the one to war yeah, about I that shit yeah I took the nigga mag- bitch about the black tail magazine we'd have been beefing about when that when I said listen we would have been that, beefing that, that paper me. pussy that paper pussy it's I'm talking power. about that real paper that they paper laminate, pussy is power laminate and them motherfucking everything like you gotta laminate it cause the nigga spray your pitch taking that bitch in the shower laminate that shit let me ask you something let me ask you something laminate that bitch taking it in the shower be honest, like for real. You think you, you think you're still institutionalized, like by you know any cause? Without a doubt. You eat chips when every time you eat your food. No, I put honey on it. Anything? Bitch, you too shit. Hey. <laughs> and even with even with yeah, the way I put the honey e- on it. Even with the way that we clean. Yeah. The way that we keep everything clean around us and like I go everything crazy in when order. He, he back from London. That's, it ain't, shit it ain't with. institutionalized as being fucking it's, 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 it's a fucking it's, it's institutionalized is not a bad home. thing. No, it's a certificate of graduate. Yeah. Graduate certificate. No, 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 no. Young, yeah, I'm not agreeing with none of these niggas. So <laughs> institutionalized is a bad. You don't want to go to jail. I mean, Number one. We're not talking about going to jail. We're not talking about if you go somewhere. We're not telling people to go to jail. We talking about the things you learn when you in there. I'm talking about now. If you go somewhere and you develop a bunch of bad habits and you once you reinsert it into society, you bring that bullshit out here. Yeah, that's different. But I'm talking about the way that I'm clean with making my bed and just keeping everything in order. But that's your hygiene. Let me say this. Y'all know everybody that wants to jail ain't like y'all niggas. At all. Say, bro, they got some niggas don't even brush their fucking teeth today. Right. Bro. It's they some niggas that went up there do, and they them niggas was playing. Them niggas was, they was, they was just like they was on the block. They different was different in the motherfucking yard. There's different levels of this shit we seen. It is. There's a lot of different levels. Man, you can't come talk to me if you brush nothing like you don't want, you don't want nobody to talk to you. They got some niggas that don't wash their ass, dog. And when you in that bitch, Jason, there's niggas on the street that don't wash their ass. A bunch of Jasons. Bitch, a whole killer, but you scared of that water. You just gotta get your pussy ass in that water. <laughs> and you learn a lot about niggas in jail. You know? <laughs> yeah, y'all jail. They said, you said you're, you're a killer, you, you but you scared to get that you water. You was the third when you was out on these motherfucking streets. But bitch, you ain't here. You living real bad. Hey, you know what I like mm. to see? See, me, one thing about me, I always treated the, the buddies, the smokers. I always treated them good. Mm-hmm. See, to. See, when they got them. You know the D boys out there. They used to beat them up and mm, all that. See when they you you get back there. And he didn't been laying back here about ninety days. He all big. He husky. He lifting the yeah, weights. He, he healthy. Done caught you and put you in something tight and told you you know this is my world, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, it's funny how the game flip around. Mm-hmm. You know. Absolutely. So, hey, be hey, be careful how you treat people. It come back three sixty. You heard? It's full yes, circle. Get to the streets. Fast hey, hey, Wallow had that problem with one Sally. No, I ain't. Yeah. Yes, yeah. you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He came in there. You told that nigga, listen, man, we gonna. He was all drugged up. Nigga, we gonna keep. I was giving him the cell rules. I was giving him the cell rules. He raised up on me once he got his shit together. I wasn't flexing on him though. He just was an OG and he raised up on me. You know, he woke you the fuck up. Remember what you told me? Remember what you told me? Two months ago, nigga. We came to we came to agreement of understanding. 
Right, because you was bitching. <laughs> no, I wasn't about that. Fuck out of here. <laughs> men respect you men. Men respect men. You know how shit. Bro. He do what the tap You gotta get some on his ass to fuck with him on these streets, bro. Because <laughs> he always hey, fuck hey, with you about this jail shit, What you gonna get about me? Oh no, I got something on the streets. I got the tape of when uh, Benny Siegel sucked me, sucker punch him on South Street. I ain't put the tape out yet. No. They get the that's fuck cool, out B. Of that's our people's though, but he's got out on the back street. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Let me tell you some funny man, shit. Stop, stop lying. See, the, see you go. <laughs> listen, listen. I'm gonna tell you some funny. I'm, I'm gonna tell you some real shit. Oh, you talking about when? It, listen, yeah. let me tell you some real shit. Me and Beans did a single. To, me and Beans did a feature together. You know what I'm saying? He came to one of the, one of the shows. Air Air Beans. He was there. You know, Kevin, like you always say, he'll be there, but he'll not be there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Kevin, don't, you know, he ain't that accessible. So, you know, I'm in there, I'm running this shit, all this talking, yeah, right, I've come back there, you know, Beans come back there, yeah, man, we're going to go to the studio. He dropped the adding for me to go to the studio. You know, I'm not going to tell my dude, this Gates, man, mm -hmm. this Philly, man, mm -hmm. I'm not about to tell no fucking, come on, Gates, come in the studio mm -hmm. with me. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, if I die in Philly, you know what happened, you sin it. Mm -hmm. You dig what I'm saying? That's how we rock. Instantly. But I'm going to leave him where he at. Mm -hmm. I get a phone call. I don't know how the fuck he got the information where I was at. Get a phone call. I'm like, yeah, I'm over here with Beans. You know, I already got the load of the studio. I'm like, where you at? I'm about to come up now. I said, where you at? I'm right down the street. Dog, I swear to God, bro, I'm not doing this because this is my dude and I'm trying to, you know, I'm telling you the fucking truth. Mm -hmm. I don't know what street is. The guy says you cross the street. And Look they down got the some, street. They got this nigga was walking. They, they got some this nigga walking, the the, dog, he walking the streets, bro. In the middle of the night, it had to be like what? Like about 1230? Middle about, of the night, same one, suit, one same again. everything he had on on the motherfucking stage. They know this Kevin Gates. I'm talking about the nigga got the hat on, you know, walking in the streets, dog. And I'm like, go, what's that? Like, you know, I'm gonna let you go nowhere by yourself. Dude was like, man, what like, you what? doing walking at night? I'm like, I'm what? Muslim. I'm Muslim. What? We on the field of law. Right. Hey. Fuck you talking about. Hey, I go anywhere I want, hey, nigga. Then we went in that like, bitch, this, and we went in that like, bitch and caught up. He was like, but this such and such feeling. I'm like, but I'm Muslim. Yeah. And then he was like, I I get it. And if Beans was, was here today? I just was in a lit project. I just was in a lit project with them dudes, bro. It was so crazy. Like, I ain't no feeling. Hey, I knew they fuck with me. But when you pop up unexpected and nigga playing your shit, mm -hmm. like really playing your shit, mm -hmm. they was playing my music. Right. Come on, man. They was... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, nigga. Man, yeah. the Beans was here right now today. He'll stamp that shit. But I do that. Yeah, he I, didn't I, even know Gates was I do, coming. I do that. Coming to the studio. I, I get out and walk. I get out and walk because I want to feel it. I want to see it. Right. And that's just something I always did. I take little walks. You know what I'm saying? At nighttime, sometimes when I when I used to couldn't sleep, I just take me a little walk. Yeah. It's just something I do. I mean, people say it's weird. People say whatever. But I don't have problems when I'm by myself. Right. Now, okay. if I got an entourage with me. Then I got problems. Uh -huh. yeah, that's, that's the truth because right. he'll be walking somewhere by himself. You're not even gonna, you ain't even going to know it's me. Yeah. You know what people tell me when they see me by myself? They be like, you look just like Kevin Gates. Mm -hmm. I say, man, people tell me that everywhere oh, I go. Mm -hmm. But if I'm with Boo, but they know one thing. Oh, that is Kevin Gates. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you a dead <laughs> giveaway. Uh, real Stay in the car. Real tough. <laughs> Real fucking I'm gonna go this way, man. If they see you, they gonna go to look for me. Right. Fuck that. Yeah. And I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this because you mentioned Ab. Shout out to Ab. A lot of y'all know Ar Ab in a certain way. Every time me or Ar hooked up at the gas station or the Chinese store, we had some real. This mother. See, a lot of people don't know how funny Ab the fuck is. They don't know Ab is funny. Ar Ab is funny as shit. We used to just be. We used to just be. Yes, we used to just be tripping, but uh, shout out to A.R. Ab, man. I, and we had some good, memorable times. We just talked about life. Him, it wasn't about no low. shit. Yeah, it was All no dumb to, shit. They used to come fuck with us at the, uh, at the um, we was in South by Southwest. Yeah. And we locked up in one of them rooms and went there and recorded. Like, that song that me and A.R. got, yeah. Yeah. we did OBH. that. Yeah, we did that though. Yeah. That nigga Gilly, no, he came that fucking, like, mm -hmm. by himself. He always come yeah. by himself every time. Yeah. Man, what's up, nigga? What's up? Uh, you already Ooh, fucking know. <laughs> you every already time. fucking know. Yeah. So every we, time. Yeah, we on solo missions out with you. <laughs> yeah, what up? Real tough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got to tell you. You know I bought the move, huh? Yeah, yeah. I, I remember when you called me. I man. just wish the only thing, what? bro. What? In the movie, bro. Blood what? brothers, blood brothers. Blood brothers. Blood brothers. Shout I out. I just wish. I just wish Say in the bitch. movie. I just wish the bitch would have stayed alive. <laughs> hey, well, you know. I'm talking about you and the bitch just ran off into the... <laughs> 
Shit happens, man. For y'all who ain't seen Blood shit. Brothers, hit the link in Gil bio. Hit the link in my bio. Man, I get Blood Brothers right slang. now. Yeah, that nigga slanging too shout much out in this shit. Shout out, shout out to Gilly, man. You know what I'm saying? This nigga smashed the nigga at the grocery store. You're a great fucking actor, dog. You're a great actor, my nigga. Shout you out to Ving Rames, man. Shout out to my OG Ving Rames, man, for, for calling me and putting me in all them fucking movies. I appreciate you, OG, to the death, man. Love you, man. Real talk, but I bought the movie. I called. I was. I called me, man. I got out of jail. I say, hey. You know I got the move, huh? Uh huh. I remember that shit <laughs> like it was yesterday too. Appreciate you, man. Real talk. I just appreciate you for being a genuine nigga and the same nigga every time I see you, every time I talk to you, every time we we come across each other's path. You just the same nigga, man. You just Kevin Gates, man. Nothing don't change about. Nothing me. don't change you know, about you. You know man. something? I think that's a good thing, but it also is what make me not be looked at in the game as like super famous. Mm -hmm. Cause you know, if I had the bodyguards around me mm -hmm. with the cameras, you mm -hmm. know, when everybody would see me, you know, they'll be like, that's, it would, it would be that wild factor. Mm -hmm. But it's not that with me. I am who I am, who right. I'm not, I would never be. Right. Like when you have all of that around you, like I don't, I mean, I don't necessarily feel like I need that. Right. I mean, I know this gonna sound crazy. I just, I'm Muslim. Right. I pray. I don't have. I mean, those people that don't understand it, they're not going to understand. Right. You know, some I don't. People, some people you tell some of your stories, they'll think it's, it's fucking lies. You heard me? And I got many of them. But you know, it's just it's, it's just me. Shit. Like I, I feel like the most beautiful messages and lessons that I done got came from people that the world would consider the scum of the earth. Mm -hmm. You know, and I, I've been a black sheep before, as far as with with my family setting. I've been the outcast. So I think I more relate to the people that have been outcast. Yeah. Like emotion-based rap, when I first came in the game, that wasn't really a thing. Right. You know, we started talking about the emotion-based music and things of that and how you was dealing emotionally and internally, and it just turned into a whole genre. Right. You know, one of the godfathers. I Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> you know, I salute the I'll motherfucking god. Nigga, two of them, them niggas, you one of the godfathers out here that really started really – Emotional, like that's a hell of a motherfucking term right there. Rap. Emotional rap with now, motherfuckers. Everything, is, everything Kevin used to come on when he came out with something. Everybody had a problem with it. You know they, you know, man, that dude sang. He be singing. He eat booty. He, but I'm saying everything that he did. But was, you emulated. It was right. Well, exactly. You he trendsetted right. it. You know what I'm saying. Right. Absolutely. Or like Everybody my grandmother say, say, my grandmother say, baby, if you're doing something you're ashamed of, you ain't got no business doing ain't it. Got no business doing hey, it. that's one thing the world ain't got to worry about me. I ain't got no secrets. Right. right. What up? Right. This me. This me, Little bitty nigga. bitch, you want a nigga like me to be with? Well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Magnolia, man. This big oh, dog, man. huh? This big dog, this me, nigga. What you see is what you get, nigga. Hey, I that's am good. what I am. What I'm not, I'll never be. Absolutely. Say, bro, I got my I got my own podcast going on right now, Straight Facts Podcast. You know what I'm saying, and I'm doing a lot of great things with it, bro. You heard? It was hard for me to be on a podcast shit. with him, dog, because we talking about shit that I know you already know the answer to. Right, right, right. So like I had to get myself, I had to right. get myself out the out the out that mindset, right, and just really, I know it's people that don't know, right. Then me and him be just talking and cutting each other off and shit. Right. <laughs> Sam, you get on my podcast, I want you to go back to the block, bro. I didn't see you got on Instagram and, you know, you know, while we all doing y'all shit. Oh, you yeah, know, we pull up anywhere, shit. man. But look, That's one thing about us. We don't have to go back to the block, bro. Get down on the ground, you Hey, know? hey, listen. We, we got to go back to the fuck. Nigga, we pull up ground, anywhere, really? nigga. We going to pull up anywhere, anytime, make and make it yeah, happen, you man. You know what I'm saying? I already know what it is, you dig? I'm well, listen, man. What I, want. Yeah. I knew Gates got a motherfucking... Uh, Go work out. Go work out, then got shows and shit, man. I just want to salute what you, you brother. Me to leave? No, nigga, fuck you. Nigga, nigga, we can make this motherfucker two, three hours. Nah, we been here two, three hours. You don't love a nigga like that. Yeah, you fucking right, man. I've been waiting for this shit for years, man. We been in here about two, three hours. Yeah, man, nigga, Absolutely, man. You feel me? We wasn't. It was natural. Absolutely. We shoot the shit three hours in a fucking way. Absolutely, absolutely, nigga. So, man, listen, man. I got a bunch. You of just want to give you your flowers, man. You the shit out here, man. Shit, bro. You been doing your Thank thing. You. you did that shit your way, man. Yeah, one thing, you. one thing, no motherfucker body can't take from you is you did that shit your way. 
Yes, sir. Nobody could ever say, take no credit for that shit. Oh, he oh, rode nobody sir. coattail. Oh, sir. If he ain't have a record with this nigga, yeah, he wouldn't. Yeah. This motherfucker put him. No, he did that shit his way. He didn't give a fuck who liked it. He didn't give then a fuck I who gravitated to it. You got to think, I did two bids. In, I in went laid down twice. In the process. And never complained. In the process. There was no protesting going on, none of that. I stayed silent. <laughs> I stayed silent. Yeah. Man, but no, none of that. Hey, I'm a gangster. Hey, I accept the consequences behind my actions. Right. I laid down. Right. I ain't complain. Right. Different people bring out different energy yeah. from right. me. But like I could talk like I could be my all the way myself around right. you. You fuck right. with it. But it's like anybody else, they don't ask me the right questions right. to get the right answers. Right. It's more like bait and trick and yeah. cl- right. trick yeah. bait and all they kind of bullshit. Like themselves. so, like like when I fuck with you. It's always like a reunion. It's the same thing every right. time. Absolutely, man. Now, you might get to talk about, man, say, Gates, bro, I need you to come do this song in this video. Look, big brother, I'm busy right now. You a bitch-ass nigga. <laughs> you got time to do it for these other bitch-ass niggas that wouldn't get out there behind you, but you can't do it for me. Gates, you a bitch-ass nigga. Hey, well, Gilly, I love you to death. So Gonna sell them. Let's do it. You think that nigga, yeah. you think he can hold and grumpy, bro? Who? <laughs> No, man, I've been old and grumpy, man. He's man, he, believe that. He's he been grumpy. Let me tell you something. Because when these niggas try to leave you for dead, right, and they can't because you stay prayed up and you stay putting that work in and you understand that God mm, got man, you. Man, I'm on this black top, man. I don't give a fuck what you yes. try. You can't stop me. I right. control a black top. Right. A lot of niggas that thought I was going to be left for dead is the same niggas that's doubling back now. And I'm like this. To. And I don't even feel no type of way. I look at them and we look at each other and I'm like, yeah, come on, nigga. Real but street I nigga. know you a bitch ass nigga. Landlord. You know I know, know you, know you a bitch me, ass you nigga. Kiss the ring of you you know I know you a bitch ass, ass nigga. You know I know, nigga. But you make the ga- you make some good. of the best gangster faces I ever seen. No, because you know you <laughs> niggas. You, you, hey, you yeah, know because you, you know one thing you can say about me, niggas. Many motherfucking armed robbers we went on, nigga. Gilly never got tested when he when when that shit went down. I ain't never had to wrestle with the gun. I ain't never had no you nigga run off. I ain't never up. had He's none of that dumb shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But we did go on the joint, and the nigga threw you on the ground. Cause you wasn't holding it the fuck no, down. I, I man. had to back you. You had the, the fuck fucking hammer. I ain't had a hammer. No, no, you walk up all the fast. Story. You walk up all fast. You, wasn't holding, you wasn't ain't holding got no the fucking fuck down. Cooker. Nigga caught you through you on the fucking ground. I had to back you up. You nut ass nigga. What the fuck is he talking about? That's your sign of major growth, dog. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, right. nigga came from the well motherfucker at right now. Right. Because they have a lot of. Because this is 20 something years ago. Well motherfuckers at, bro. You heard me? And you know, you just been on the cell phone starting the nigga coming in your DM and you just. Talking, giving game, you know Real what I'm talk, I look man. at the highlights, you heard me? Absolutely, you know, you, man. You got to look at the highlights. You got to salute yourself for that. Appreciate that, man. And one thing about Gates, that nigga been saying since this shit started, man, I got to get down there, man. Yeah, I got, we just that. been missing each other, man. Because it, it was like, it. it was like, we do this anyway off camera. Right. We do this off camera. Absolutely. Well, I ask him a lot of questions, yeah. but you, for y'all not knowing, I be asking him a lot of questions. I mean, we can't. I mean, we can't do Philly strolling this bitch, and that nigga was out of town. Mm-hmm. But I led he, you all the right that directions. That nigga sent them goons to the motherfucking bus, <laughs> picked God. me up, bought me round Philly, my God. bought me in the back of a house some fucking well, open the back, open that open bitch up, yes Lord, that bitch up, boom, man, yeah. That nigga called me. The bad guy he called me. And I nigga, was by myself. some gangster shit, nigga. The he said he walked me in here. The I said, man, game. where the fuck is we going, man? But uh, Gilly sent me, so I know this cool, but this I'm shit good. don't look right. This shit like, good. so Sunny we going somewhere right. where nigga about to leave me, man. And then he said, man, nigga, put a key in the door, open that shit up, nigga. Hey, Boom. Hey, when we, when we pull up around here, you seen the people at that, at that fender shop taking them fenders off that car. First thing came to your mind was what? They stuffing them bitches. Hey, that same <laughs> fucking day, what came on the news on that motherfucking TV when, the, when I was in that house? Motherfucker. Two blocks away, dog. Yeah. I'm talking about 800 some fucking keys. Yeah. You heard me? That ain't nothing, man. They in just the warehouse stopped. down the street from the they house where stopped, we was at. They just stopped the, they just stopped the beat on it, a billion. A billion dollars down on that board down here. That was here when they stopped that bitch in the port. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm. I called Gilly. I said, man, these people... The news, they have everybody in the warehouse down the street. Mm-hmm. Like, what they doing down there? What the little black one named you little people? He said, Uh-oh. man, they, they, man, we in this motherfucker. Man, it's right <laughs> down the street, bro. Man, it's right here, bro. Number warehouses around that bitch. Number warehouses, real tough. Hit it, man. Hit it, uh, you are. Please. 
I don't want it. I don't want any trouble. I fuck with you, dog. You know, you've been a real nigga since day one. You know what I'm saying? Wallow saying, likewise. You know what I'm saying? Oh God! It ain't many I fuck with. Lord, you. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. But shit, man, we just want to give Kev his flowers, man. We appreciate you, man, for pulling up and just being a real genuine nigga that she is, man. Keep kicking these niggas' asses. Keep doing it your way. And I would like to see you with some features in the future. Uh, hey, I promise. I mean? like, Real talk. Listen. I'm glad I he liked that. And I'm glad, so I'm I'm promise, glad he liked that. Now, it's, it's, it's networking. You have nothing to lose. I right. mean, you can't. I don't take this shit personally anyway right. because you know why? I know who I am. Right. I know who I am. So, hey, maybe you couldn't do it. Maybe right. you couldn't get to it. Right. Maybe we wasn't meant to co-create. Right. Wait, but I keep trying. Absolutely. Yeah. Hey, it's, I, no, it's coming. We speaking all that shit to each because I got, I got who wrong. turning down motherfucking Kevin Gates in the DM? Ain't nobody turning that down. Man. Some people don't even look. I in ain't the gonna DM. lie. If they don't look in the DM, that's they lost. I be in everybody DM. Yeah. Like if I see somebody that's doing something like right. fitness wise, I put that strong on them in right. that shit. Right. Like you know, I'm just I'm super into fitness now. Right. It's like NBA niggas all that. When I see them do something amazing, I put that strong on and let you know I'm saluting. Absolutely, yeah. ain't nothing wrong with that. I, I salute. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Fuck I beat everybody DM. Absolutely. I was in Tyra Banks DM the other day. I had t- I had told her. Uh, I told her I say, uh, "Good job, Tyra. You doing good." She said something, and she said, "Oh, Lord, is just seeing this." And then I hit back. Uh, when you gonna help me be a model? She ain't respond. <laughs> so then I hit back, you know, I'm an asshole for real. I hit back with a, uh, I put a white G-Wagon. I'll take one of these, please, and thank you. <laughs> Man, come on. I'm an asshole. I don't care. Like, I don't take this shit serious. Absolutely. <laughs> Look what I told her, baby. Uh, hey, I don't get no fuck. Right. Right, though. But it's, a be- it's beautiful how you and your woman relationship is, man. Because you got to be friends. Absolutely. But like I say, don't listen at me and try to live by carelessly through. Because I, I I think that's misleading to the general public. Uh-huh. You have to choose you first. Definitely. Choose you. Definitely. Do not stay in a relationship and suffer in silence. Either you grow together or you grow apart. And that doesn't make you a bad person or the person you with a bad person. Right. But you have to choose you. If you don't love yourself, you can never love anyone else because you don't love yourself. So the person that you with is just a band-aid to cover up what's going on with you internally. Until you figure those things out, that's that's the most painful thing is being alone. Mm-hmm. No phone, no internet, no none of that. You have to be alone. You have to go through that process because we've been sold shit our whole life and told lies and this and that by our people. You know, our mother's the first ones to feed us death. They ain't feed us no healthy shit coming up. They told us chitlins and pork and shit, man. Eat all your food so you could be big and strong. Bitch, I'm big and fat. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So, like I say, you have to choose you. Our mothers was the first ones to ever feed us death. Pork chops. <laughs> death. Yeah. You fed us death. And then. I ain't going front. That Scrabble was good as a motherfucker when I was a kid. Nanny used to make me that burnt up motherfucking scrapper. I used to put the syrup on that shit and catch up. It was something special. But it, it's nothing against that. Like, it's nothing against. Definitely. You know, because shit, that come from that bottom. We was bottom feeders, man. We had, to, we, had to, we had to do what we had with the scraps. Mm-hmm. So that's not a bad thing. It's just that as a child, a lot of times, the shit that we had to do from survival, it get handed down and we hand that shit down to our children. Like, mm-hmm. no, it's time to break those cycles. chains and break mm-hmm. those cycles. Mm-hmm. So, like, I just want people to know, choose you first. And if you choose you and if the person you with choose them, like a wise woman told me, it's more power in wanting somebody than needing somebody. Because I don't need you, but I want you. I want you. Right. I don't need you, That's but right. I want you. Right. Yeah. Right. And there's more power in it. So that's what I, I encourage people. This nigga giving up a trillion dollars worth of game. Get to know yourself first. Get to know yourself. Ain't nothing wrong with spending some time with yourself. Mm-hmm. Doing the shit you like to do. Yeah, man. I was walking around Times Square and got a dangerous call. Do you? Hey, it's, it, that's that's what, because I think it's misleading for me to couple goals and shit yeah. like that. I don't yeah. even promote that shit. No, I don't promote shit. couple goals either because me and Gina, me and Toot was a couple before that shit was even a word. 
Yeah, y'all so, been around a long time too. Motherfuckers be motherfuckers be posting up couple goals. Niggas been together for six months, and they just took a bunch of trips together because they don't got even, money. Y'all don't even like each other. Y'all don't even know each other. <laughs> y'all don't even like each other. For real. I fuck y'all couple goals. All you gotta do is look at the. Right. I, I'm big on on energy. I'm I want to look at the energy. I'm gonna know what's going on because I'm gonna look. Mm-hmm. Man, that's fraudulent. Mm-hmm. Bullshit. That ain't real. Yeah. And, and hey, hey, and no disrespect, hey, if y'all cool with playing games, that's cool. I want somebody I could really let my hat on with. Uh-huh. I could really let my hat on uh-huh. with. I want to be with my best friend that I know, no matter what, we going to argue, we going to fight, we going to fuss, we going to do all of these things that friends do. But at the end of the day, we love each other. We going to grow together or we going to grow apart. Absolutely. If we got to go separate ways, we still going to love each other. Right. Or we stay together, we still going to love each other. Right. But it's about you making yourself happy, me making myself happy, and then we can make each other happy together. Right. That's real. Don't get no realer than that, nigga. And listen, I hate the word titles. I hate this is my such and such, this is my such and such. No, it's my friend. When you start... When you start putting them other titles there, you got to live up to that obligation that come with that title. Mm-hmm. You can't. You got to honor your. You got to. Shut the fuck up. Right. I'm a fucking man. Shut the fuck up. Right. Hey, this is my friend. And I do what I want to do. Yeah, I don't catch whoopings. In my situation. Yeah, I don't catch whoopings. Right. <laughs> I don't get punished. <laughs> Bitch, you can't put me on quiet time. You right. Heard me? right. This is my. This is my friend. And then when it's your friend, you know, hey, babe, come on, let's. Hey, mm-hmm. you want to go work out? Mm-hmm. Be but I ain't gonna lie. You know you lie. can't come work out with me, but you know I ain't gonna keep my hands off you in the mm-hmm. motherfucker, but mm-hmm. the motherfucker looks soft, babe. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm always, you know, and it's that's another thing, like I tell me, man, ain't nothing wrong with I always keep being attracted to your woman. Mm-hmm. I always keep that, keep that intimacy. Mm-hmm. Hey, babe, when I get home, I'm ravish you in my love. I'll be changing my voice, talking white and everything. You know, get on the FaceTime, babe, you look stunning. Have dinner with me tonight. <laughs> you know, I be changing my, you know, I be doing all of those bitch ass uh, shit. Babe, look, babe, just get out the car and walk right here. I want to act like I'm about to, come on, man, act like you taking a date, babe. Uh, come on, babe. Uh, just just walk right here, babe. Just walk outside the car and pull but up, But they babe. like that shit. What? You got to keep it spicy. Uh-huh. Babe, put this, babe, put this wig on today. Uh-huh. Put this wig on, babe, and walk on the side. I'm going to just pull up and bump, bump. Uh-huh. I'm going to toot my little horn, you heard? Uh-huh. What's up? Uh-huh. And you, I want you to play the role, too. Act stuck up with me for a little uh-huh. bit, though, you yeah. heard? Uh-huh. Make, me, make me park this motherfucker Absolutely. and get out and, get, and chase you down. Absolutely. Like, man, hold on, babe. You know, I want to have fun. Like, let's have fun. Like, right. If it's make, not fun, like, keep the relationship going. motherfucker be sitting around at the house just, man. Like, Miserable. I can't stand this motherfucker. And the worst well, thing in the world motherfucker is waking up, Instagram, bro. Motherfucker waking up, waiting for you to die. Yeah. Shit, still breathing. They social media, that's the worst shit in the world, that you know, that's happening today. They say social media break relationships up. That's a fucking lie. Nosy bitches break relationships up. <laughs> you want to be a nosy motherfucker and go dig for something and find it. Now you found what you was looking for. And if you see your hey, what, what, that, what that nigga uh, <laughs> Finesse two times say, on, he say, uh, he say, uh, he say, and if you catch the bitch in my presence, best believe that I'm working her. Uh-huh. She the one that I'm finessing, uh-huh. but you the one that I'm caressing. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck it. Shit don't even be what it is. Motherfuckers make that shit be shit. You remember? Because Instagram don't break up. couples up. Nosy bitches do. Dude, yes, Lord. That. That's a fact. Yes, Lord. Guns don't kill people, bullets do. That's you know what I'm saying? People. It's a fact. It's all about what you want. No, it's, it's all about what you want. It's all about what you're looking for. And it's all about what you create. I look for character. You know what I'm saying? Character is everything. Right. Because I don't I, want no motherfucker. As soon as I come here, you reach, you, you turn your phone off. Who, you, what you more concerned about, me or, or, or the phone? You and that's, that's you another thing saying? like that I do like. I my he well he know my phone's going airplane mode. Yeah. Yeah. This is me they time. Always in the L. And if you in my presence, this is our time. Exactly. You know, and I lead by example with that. Like when a woman see the way you you rock, when she see that you present, she gonna be more present. Mm-hmm. You different. Mm-hmm. Like I hear that so much. You so different. Mm-hmm. You believe that. You ain't know. Yeah, we do different <laughs> shit. Kevin, I love you. You ain't got no choice. Like, right. Bitch, you'd be retarded if you did. Yeah, love is what love does. Right. You know what I mean? Hey, hey, listen, man. Shout out to Kev, man, for coming through, man. Shout out to OG Booby Black. Million dollars worth of game. This is like BWA. And you know, this is like 
our one of our longest motherfucking episodes. This is the second ever. longest episode ever. ever. Y'all about to chop this bitch up. Oh yeah, yeah. We go, we go. You know, yeah, man, yeah. yeah. Hey, fucking right. Hey, hey, keep doing you though, brother. Man, keep being yes, great, sir. man. You the shit, man. You been the shit. You been putting a hustle in. Shit is nonstop. You went and laid down twice. You come back. You still a shit. It don't matter because uh, the talent just supersedes everything, man. That's a one thing you can't. One thing we can't deny is you a talented motherfucker, man. Thank you. And that motherfucker Thank microphone you. ain't too many motherfuckers on planet Earth that's walking that could fucking do what you do on that microphone, man. Thank you. So we salute you, man. Thank Rest you, in peace to my motherfucking brother from another mother, Killer Stone, man. Love you, man. You going, Nelson but you Nelson never forgot. Love. I'm always hold you down, man. nigga. You already know, nigga. Stone. And it's just like that. Run!